Okay. Thank you. One more chinaki. We move. You are highly welcome to our today's live broadcast. Right here from our homeland radio Biafra. Here in Biafra land, where I am broadcasting from. I am a homeland broadcaster. I remain the fearless IPB evangelist, Mazi Marat I am from Mundiabo. Mundiabo is in Aninri. Aninri is a local government in Ojiriva province, Biafra land. Thank you for joining us at this very point in time. This very gospel must be preached. There is no two ways about it. Nobody can stop us. Even when Biafra comes, we will continue to teach our people, lecture them, make sure that they do not rubbish the very Biafra that we died for. When Biafra comes, we will continue to make sure that we channel all their brain towards what we fought for, because we do not fight and died for a very rubbish nation that somebody will come and live the life of the zoo. No, a very serious work in our hand to do until we die. That when Biafra comes, that is what I ask that I will do. I request that I will work for Biafra people. And I know that so many people will do it. And Biafra will also create such, um, Biafra government will create such um, ministry that we will make sure we tell our people why we died to restore Biafra. They will not come here with the life of zoo. That's why Chukwa Biama gave Nandikano instruction that IPOB as a family must be formed so that we will show our people the kind of life we live. Your individual life as a family member of IPOB under the leadership of Mazinam Dekano is different from the life of IPOB. So somebody will not come and qualify us with your individual life. What IPOB does under the command of IPOB, that is what we call whiter than white and whiter than snow, not an individual life. Maybe the person is an officer. That not he's living his life. No, that's not what you use to qualify to IPOB whiter than white and whiter than snow. An individual can act anything, but the, under the commands of IPOB, do we act anyhow? The answer is no. Then that is the whiter and white, whiter than white and whiter than snow we are talking about. Maybe you don't know. Thank you. Simple. Free nam de kane monakoko. If you let somebody get again, they have a business. Yeah, yeah, good. Yes, you attack IPOB same. You are very foolish. Follow our orders, instruction from the leadership. That is IPUP. People have been living their life before they joined the struggle. What Nam Dekan know as IPOB family members under his command are those that obey the command of IPOB, which actually leads us to Biafra's restoration. Not that people will not live their life, no, right? But IPOB, what we are doing. Can you find us guilty on it? The answer is no. Because for how many years we have been in Nigerian court, they cannot find out guilty. Jail a single person now. Talk more of the head, Namdekan, who have destroyed you. Thank you. Welcome. I remain the fearless IPOB evangelist, Mazamada Timothy. I'm from Mondiabo. There was an Aninri. Aninri is a local government in Ojiriva province, Biafra land. We move. The white people changed my, the name of my place to Ndiabo, B-O-H. Why our name is Ndiabo? Ibo Mabo Gulagi, Ibo Mabo Waka. That's what our people, our forefathers did to the white. They saw the white people, the British in our place, fighting our people. Those that ran away, some people, our people ran away. Then the, the old men, there was one man, I've forgotten his name, who led them. He said that, we, they, that they should go and fight the white men. What was the language? 
a warm mabogora. That is to say, if the white man do them go, they will do them the same. If the fight, white man fight them, they will fight them. That is how they name our place. A warm mabogora. Ndiabo. White man came and give us Ndiabo. B O H. Very mad people. The same thing they did to Afibu. The name is Ehubu. Not Afibu. Ehubu. The white people change it to uh, Afibu. If you go to Afibu, their greetings is Ehubu Unuka. Uwa. Ehubu Unuka. And people respond, Uya. Or Uwa. Ehubu Unuka. Iyo. That is it. Or Iwo. But the white man named them Afibu. They went to Lohum. A low home, they saw human beings, they saw buildings, they saw houses, they name it no home. Go to low home. These very white people that are resigning today as a prime minister, these very white people, you say you are British, you must vanish while the Afra is rising, and we have risen. British must vanish, destroy, complete. He vanish in Nonsense. Thank you. Atuzin Zogu. I love that very name. Chineke Mere Don't be infiltrator or emotional with this very name. A very serious name. They must consult Uju. Right? He is their command. There must be a channel for command. It doesn't matter the kind of mind you have. In freedom fighting, you will not allow groups and groups. If you fight people who hold gone, they will call themselves freedom fighters and they will start criminality. It doesn't work in freedom. You must make sure you stop it. And that is what we did. And we are doing it more. Thank you. We know where we are going. Our Supreme Court. <laughs> but you must obey the other now. You are joking in the Supreme Court. I met Amadi. We told you I would numb the camera. I would destroy you in my own in your own court. <laughs> so somebody can come up today and tell you that there is a election. Or they will tell you that you have to go and get your previous. When the, so the person cannot challenge Attorney General over disobedience to court order, imagine their own court. Imagine their own judge. Imagine their own constitution. They truncated it. How come you are killing yourself because of election or because of PVC? The PVC is under constitution. The court that ruled on the appeal court that freed the American under constitution. The judges are constitutional, under constitution. And the law that the judges used are in the constitution. Now, the election is under constitution, constitutional. Now, the INEC is constitutional. Now, if the appeal court judgment can be truncated, does it mean, uh, uh, do you think that the PVC in your hand is still legal? <laughs> it will become useless. All of them are under constitution. Any institution under Nigerian government, any section, any department, Anyone, anything that is under Nigerian constitution, it is now null and void. When the attorney general of the, the very law, the very constitution, attorney and the general, the man who appoints judges, the man who, send, who um, prosecute cases on behalf of Nigeria, Malami, when he disobey court order, appeal court order, why are you still holding your PVC? It has been null. It is now null and void. The constitution does not exist. They don't believe in their constitution. Do you see now that you are a foolish idiot? We told you. You would, you have you not destroyed yourself? Disobedient to court order. You are going to appeal. We are going to treat it now. I met a mad here. <laughs> Then they will know. Thank you. Share the program very, very widely. We are going to deal with them. That, who is now destroying Nigeria? Do you see why the leadership of IPOB told you not to mention election? They told someone about to be telling you, no election, no election in Biafra land. 
so that the Fulani will start killing Biafran politicians. If they kill them, they will say it's IPOB saying no election. But we did not come into their election. They even sent people to attack Labour Party gathering with the Biafra flag. How can criminals be going to robbery with ID card? Have you ever seen criminals going to robbery with ID card? Now, how can somebody be going to attack political gathering and the person will go with Biafra flag? Did you understand? The person will go with Biafra flag. Now, how do you see that person? These are the things IPOB knew very, very well because we started this very agitation. We were not forced into. Our creator have brought us on earth so that this very time when Nigeria expired, we will all rise to destroy those and their plans to continue maintaining or patching an expired Nigeria that was documented by the British. Not by God, though, documented by the British. In the UK High Commission in Abuja, the documents of an expired Nigeria is there. 1914 to 2013, December 31st. Or even if you count 2014 in, did Jonathan not hold a confab? What about the confab? That was to, to the same thing the constitution said, the very amalgamation agreement said, that when it expired, then you will come in round, on round table. But the Northern has said no. Today you are telling me about the election when they disobeyed their own court orders. Are you telling me that the police have the right to arrest somebody? The person you are arresting, you, are you taking him or her to court? But the court, the attorney general does not believe in the court. But they told the world that the Nambi will defend himself in court. The very um, Yusuf Mohammed, because Jibril is uh, long ago gone, Yusuf Mohammed from Niger Republic told the world that the Nambi will defend himself in court. But to your, this year, we are not counting the freedom of the unconditional release of Mazen Amdekan by Justice Ademola on the 20th of December 2015. We are, that's one you will pay. These are debts of judgment. You are owing us. Nigeria is owing us. We are not even talking about um, the decision of Amdekan unconditionally, which is decision acquitted. It is called unconditionally. That is the unconditionally decision acquitted by Justice John Sobo, right? 2016. We are not, not what we are counting now. Not the, um, the very decision or order or advice by the federal court judge, the third judge that they took the case of Mazin and 2016. After they refused the court of that of Justice Don Soho, that is the second unconditional release of Madden Amnekano. The case was moved by DSS to the court of Justice Ahmed Mohammed. Did you understand? And what did the man say? He told DSS not to bring such case that I have warned them not to bring this kind of case to his honorable court again, to this honorable court again, and that. He have instructed them to go and obey the previous court rulings. That is to say, the very Ahmed Mohammed is automatically backing up the judgment of Justice Ahmed um, Ademola and Justice John Soho, which discharged in Namdekano unconditionally. In the presence of Labaran, the um, Nigerian prosecutor, federal counsel, not in their absence, And the DSS personnel also was there. And the court are all Nigerian courts. In Abuja, not in Kotonu, not judges from Cameroon. The prosecutor, not, the, the, there was no strange style, no strange person there. All of them was also appointed by the Minister of Justice. That is called Mamalami. He appointed the judges. How come? They disobeyed this court order. Now, since our leader was kidnapped and extraordinarily renditioned into the zoo right from Kenya, Bintanyako, despite her compromise and the bias, have given 
rulings on the favor of Mazen Namdekan over the violation of his fundamental human rights by the same Nigerian government, VSS especially. None of them have been obeyed. They are still owing us debts of justice. Did you understand? Now let us move. These are debts they are owing us. We count it. We we'll continue to count it. And let us pray. Thank you, Zudo. Thank you, Zama. Thank you, Zemiri. Thank you, Zimbochi. Thank you, Chinekudo. Thank you. We honor you because you are our God. We thank you because you gave us IPOB. We thank you because you gave us Namdeka. We thank you because you are giving us victory. We thank you because you are favoring us. We thank you because you change it not. We thank you because you have been presiding over every of our proceedings. We thank you because you have given us Biafra, only to finally restore it in fullness. Thank you, Zudo, because our enemies are dying in silence. Thank you, Zudo, because our enemies are prepared. They are bringing their we the weapons of their destruction upon themselves. Thank you, because you have hardened the heart of fear. Thank you, because you are we are at the final battle to destroy them. Thank you for your grace upon the leadership of IPOB. Thank you for your grace upon the legal team of IPOB and then Namdekan. Thank you for your grace upon the land of Biafra. Because they don't think that there will be people living in this land today. Despite the deployment of military hardware and military personnel, even terrorists from foreign countries, they deploy them in Biafra land. We thank you for that grace, keeping us alive here today. Nobody, none of us among the security um, chiefs of Nigeria, they gather, they discuss how to kill us, they will move to start killing us. None of us will contribute. We are not in the, we are not appointed to be among the security chiefs, but you are always there representing us, Chukwa Abiyama. We thank you because all their gatherings are against us, but they don't know that you have gathered in heaven with your angels before now. Thank you because you continue to destroy them. Put them in shame, as always. Those countries that are supposed to rise up, do not allow them to rest. Those in charge, give them sleepless night and restless mind. Any Nigerian or anybody, both Igbo politicians, Biafran politicians, among them, that are among those that, be, that plan for the killing of Unam Dekan in Kenya, which failed, and they finalize on extraordinarily renditioning him. Ezudo, the very punishment, uh, although the very sufferings that fell upon Job, we pray that it will fall upon them times 10. Chukwa Abiyama, we continue to pray that Nigeria will never rest. All their plans will continue to scatter. All their plans will continue to scatter. We thank you for raising matters about Biafra in Nigerian court. We thank you for allowing them to take our matters in court. Thank you, Zudo. This is not the time of Abuya court. This one is in Nigerian court, and we have double-crossed them through your grace in international. You will continue to reign in the life of Biafrans. And this time, we hand over this very program to your hand. Thank you, because in the end, you alone be glorified. In your name, Chi Uku Okike. Abia Amara Pro Ime Ihenile, we have prayed. He said, he said, he said, thank you. Facebook, welcome. We know you are punishing the very account, but I don't bother because our people will replay the very broadcast on their pages. They will stream it live. Our duty is to say it. We don't care. And today, people will call in. Let us move. Let us move and go. Let us see what our topic is saying. Let us see what our topic is saying. From here, I need to see what it is saying. Okay. Okay. What is this going here? Okay. I can see it now. Facebook, continue. Stop people from joining. That is your business, not my business. 
Our duty is to say the truth, fighting the enemies in, at the right time. Our leader taught us this very battle. Let me read from here. IPOB awareness campaign on freeing Namdekano unconditionally and for Abubakar Malami San and Nigerian government to obey Nigerian ap appealing court order 13 10 2022 and the Omaha High Court verdict 19th of January 2022 continues with fearless IPB evangelist Marze Malapchimwachuku. Thank you. When our line will be open, our people will be free to call. And that time, we will call the number. We move. The number is there on the screen in case you are here with us. Thank you. Share is very, very wide. Our land must be defended. It doesn't matter what the enemy plans. It doesn't matter. You must make sure that you defend the land of Biafra. That's why Chukwu Abiyama gave us ESM. When our leader said that Biafra will come in 2020, he was talking about ESM. He was talking about ESM, but some of those who don't understand, they were asking him about the Biafra he said that will come. These are those that are ignorant of what we are doing. Since we started as a people, or since they did, they, con they brought this very rubbish, they call Nigeria together today, since 1914, have we ever have our own security that have no connection with politics? We never had. Have we ever had anyone? The answer is no. Then, how do you think that Our leader told you Biafra will come in 2020. And coming up to December 20th, is it 20th, 2020, ESN was, is it either 20th or 12th, 2020, ESN was launched. Where did our leader send them to? Inside the bushes. That is the number one security, securing your band. And that is the key of freedom. If you don't know the key of freedom, go and ask commercial drivers in Biafra land. When the unknown government was the main unknown government, not infiltrators and um, the unknown government that was angry about the crimes of the Nigerian army and police, they were on revenge. You know, they know how to fight the, each other, both police and the unknown government and criminal, they know how to fight each other. Did you understand? When they were doing the job, the drivers confessed in Biafra land that they are enjoying freedom. Security is number one freedom you can secure. That's why our leader looked up and said that Chukwa Bema directed him that the bushes must be taken over. What is his target in the bushes? To make sure that there is no terrorist overrunning our bushes because no Biafra is overrunning the bushes of the north, right? But rather, they rent houses, they rent shops, they pay, or they buy lands and build house. They don't take over the bushes. It doesn't matter what they do. They don't take over the bushes, and they don't kill northerners in the north. They don't do it. They don't rape them. They don't burn down their houses. They don't take their land by force. So we said we need terrorist freed in our land, in our bushes. We have not, the army wanted us to battle in our land. We said no. That place is a very simple battle. Who are you in our cities? Who is the Nigerian army in our township? Who are the ordinary people? When we take over the bushes, what do they have? Nigerian barracks, Nigerian police barracks, isn't it? Do they have any other thing? Do they have power? We have taken power away from governors. They don't have power. Malami, I think you are listening. I am coming to you. They don't have power. Message them now. I think you used to call them before. Let them give issue press release against IPO. Can we hear it again? The answer is no. We have taken it away from them. Did you understand? Our God, first of all, bench Ike Kulemad outside country. And he started tormenting all those ones here. Where is Ike Kulemad? He is there now. When our God is dealing with everybody connected to our trouble, Everybody must be, God must visit everyone. The British is suffering. 
Fulani is suffering. Nigeria, any boat Igbo people that are involved, they are suffering. Anybody connected to kidnapping of Fulani, they are suffering. A Kuremado will think that they will just gather, get do what they he is there now. 2023, he don't know about it. Campaign, even if he did not contest, the money he will collect, the press release will be given, the very rubbish you would have been saying about IPOB and then Namdekano, you are nowhere to be found. The same thing with others, the same people, the same thing will visit all of you. All of you. While we are demolishing these very mountains before our front, all of you will face it. Thank you. Now, what is Malami doing? Malami is have led Nigeria to the final destruction. Do you see how our God is working? Do they have any other courts apart from Supreme? But you must obey the previous court order. You must obey the appeal court order. Did you understand? You must obey it now. These are depths of justices. Because one thing there is not just the stars. The extraordinary rendition there was also condemned by the judge. That is to say, by the judges, panel judges, that is to say that if Nigeria is an individual, the court have convicted him or her as an individual. If Malami, Nigeria has been convicted by their own court, if they are individual, when the court condemns your attitude, the way you arrested somebody, then you are, con you are being convicted. Now, how can somebody that has been convicted turn around to arrest somebody and to illegally detain somebody that has been freed, which resulted to his conviction? Nigeria have been convicted by their own court of appeal. How do we are they convicted? Because they are not an individual. They still have chance to say, we hold on them. How many days now, Esther? Now, we are asking them for their courts to condemn their way of the way they kidnap on them. Does it mean that they have not gone against their own constitution? Because the court, based on their own constitution, it said that they have violated Nigerian constitution. They also violated international constitutions and international laws, in which Nigerians are, Nigeria is signatory to. Now we are asking you, you violated your own constitution the way you brought Namdekano in. That is to say, he had been freed immediately from the arrest. However, you do it, the kidnap, the detention is facing. Immediately, the court said, I condemn the way you brought him here. That is to say, he is now a freed man. Did you understand? Because the, 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 the judge did not use Ghanaian constitution. The judge is saying, was saying that Nigeria violated their own constitution and that they also violated international constitution. Now, the way they brought on them, they can extraordinary rendition. That is to say, he is freed first. Because you are being held, you are being arrested, you are now facing judgment. You are the judge now convicted Nigeria. Just because they are not individual. If it is an individual, after deciding our leader, the judge will now say this man is convicted, sentenced to how many years or so how many years? Because you have got you that carries the law, you are the attorney general, you have violated your own law. You should not be spared. But the judge has no option, did not find you, did not find you 3 billion, did not find you 10 billion for violating your own law, in which the judge was carrying. And the court there is under the constitution. And the constitution you violated is also there. The law you violated is in the constitution. Now, if you violate that one, and don't you know that the whole constitution has been violated? That is the same. The judge was trying to make sure that the Nigerian constitution remains legal because, because the attitude of Nigerian government by kidnapping and Namdekano have made, have nullified Nigerian constitution in total. It is now null and void. Okay.
It is now null and void, right? Nobody should use the constitution again. Excuse me, just for some minutes. I am coming. I'm closer. So that is what we are saying. Abubakar and Malami have violated their own law and there is no two ways about it that they will face the punishment. Their own judge was only given the ruling based on as a country, those who claim to be country, Nigeria. If they are not a country, they are individual, they have been sentenced to death. Now, coming to the very charges they levied against him, charges of terrorism, and bothering terrorism, the judge said he should not continue because he should not be in Nigeria for the first time. So what the judge is saying is that if you know that in Namdekan, the judges were saying, I mean, I feel called judges, panel judges, what they were saying to Nigeria is that if you know that in Namdekan don't have case, in other ways, then allow him to go, right? Then you can follow the right channel because the way the way you brought him in is unacceptable. It is against your own law. It is against your own constitution. The way you brought him into Nigeria is against your own constitution. So allow him to go first. Don't further any more on trial against him. No. Let him return then to where to his house. Then if you have a case. If you want to arrest him, follow the right channel. Now, Malami have not obeyed this very ruling. He is preparing, going for a hearing of appeal, uh, appeal against appeal. Are you foolish? Although you are foolish already. Malami, have your foolishness increased? I will not ask you, are you foolish? You are a foolish idiot. Have your foolishness increased to another level? Abu Bakar Malami, I am in Biafra land. I am an evangelist, IPOB, in Biafra land. I, your, your DSS said they don't know I'm here. Take a walk. I am asking you, the Fulani, Anthony, idiot. Are you not aware that the judge said the way you brought him in is illegal? Now, what is the message? Leave him first. That is how, in a normal thing, any happened to Yaka. Leave this man first. Oh, that is, oh, that is, if you don't know the language, leave this man first. Don't hold him like that. This man did not do anything. Leave his clothes. Leave him. Okay, then they say, have to go to the house. I have to go to the house. I have to go to the house. I have to go to the house. ndinadebio <laughs> Then Malami have been found guilty of a summary rendition by their own court, but cannot convict him as an individual, as an individual, because he used the name of country. 
Now, for Malami, instead of going to his Fulani and say, I have failed, he's now destroying Nigeria. And some fools are still talking about election. How can election work when constitution cannot be obeyed? When the Attorney General is truncating the constitution, is the election not constitutional? Is your voter card not constitutional? Now, is the article not constitutional? How come you try, you are truncating the article judgment? You are trying to, because you cannot truncate it, you are trying to truncate the article judgment, you disobey court orders, and they are telling us about the election. The INEC is under constitution. The voter card is under constitution. The election is under constitution. Then, when they disobey it, Every constitution is now null and void. When they disobey the statute of Fulham, they can. Every constitution is now null and void. Even the police has no right to arrest. Because the court they are taking, taking the person, the subject to, the court, the, the attorney general does not believe in the court. The army, nobody has the right to enforce any law in Nigeria again. No enforcement, no, 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 um, what is it called? Security agency have the right to enforce law in Nigeria. Which law are you enforcing? A law that Attorney General does not agree, does not believe in. Now, who is now fighting your treaty and trade? Is it IPOB? Now, the IPOB is asking for referendum. You are disobeying your own constitution. Are we down the problem of Nigeria? The answer is no. Let us continue. I want to read from what Malami is saying. I want to read from there. Let me read. Thank you. I want to read and see. Okay. I am coming, please. Okay. I'm coming, please. I want to read from what Malami gave out to the Supreme Court. Okay, let me read from here. The federal government yesterday took its case against the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB leader, Namdekan, to the Supreme Court. Here now, our name, the here now, within them, they can. Oh, we prescription in here, there. Listen, just listen, just get the other. Oh, we prescription in here, there. Watch, you see here, prescription. That is, they have finished it here. Did you see prescribed IPOB here? Let me see the, this is the nation, the nation newspaper. Why are they going to the nation newspaper, right? Now I am coming. Let me go again. The federal government, let's see now, before you ask us what we have achieved. The federal government yesterday, federal government, not a governor, not a state government, not a ministry, federal government, federal government. The same people that said, don't listen to Radio Biafra. Hey, it's a, it's a piracy radio. No news should publish them. The Namde Kano versus, did you hear IPOB? IPOB. Now, do you see the reason why IPOB name must be guided? Did you hear any other group? Do you see why other groups can do anything and Nigeria will not call their name, they will call IPOB? The case is between IPOB must be mentioned, the leader of IPOB. What they are trying in court is now IPOB. But Namdekan is our representative who is bearing our pens. Understand this. That is why you guide the name of IPOB away from criminality. Think. And Nigeria will try to bring the name IPOB inside criminality. It doesn't matter who committed it. They must say it's IPOB. Because they knew that what our leader is facing is the charges against IPOB. But he's bearing our pains. He's bearing, carrying our bodies. But people wanted us to rob him in the name of IPOB with criminality and the terrorism. 
and you think you will, you will survive it. Imagine without criminality what they are doing. Imagine your brain. I go between. Hey, we will do it. Go and do it again. That man is going to junction again. Mad people. Less than again. Came out of hand. Came out of hand in the face. Less than. Federal government. Oh, that's a side. The drain is with her. No, Chuck, we're with her. No, the governor, we're with her. The drain is with her. We're with her. No, the case is not. Can they buy it now? Ne wita kaiji. Less than. The federal government yesterday took its case, federal government, not DSSO, <laughs> against the indigenous people listener of Biafra, IPOB leader. And what are the key? And what are the key to IPOB? You know, Timbu Nehemari. Nam de Khan to the Supreme Court. Now, let's move. It has asked the APES court to stay the execution, that is, stay off execution this thing. Okay. Application. Let us move. To stay the execution of the October 13th, October 13th court of appeal judgment that freed the leader of the separatist group. Okay, no prescription. <laughs> Let us go. The request forms one of the reliefs in reliefs in a motion for a stay of execution filed yesterday between the apex court by the office of the Attorney General of the Federation, AGF. Malami now, through his office. Uh -huh. Let us move. The nations learned that, nation newspaper, the motion contained a seven ground notice of appeal in which the federal government not only faulted the lower court's decision, lower court's decision, but equally prayed that it be act, it, it be set aside, set aside the judgment. As you understand what Malami is saying, forget your you in the state of execution. Set aside. Emana go here in the Chilean Ebana land. Set aside. To go out there. That the judgment should be set aside. That is to say, automatically, that there will be no longer, be, there will be no more appeal court in Nigeria. Did you understand? Why what they went to Supreme is appeal? Now you ask Malami, do you want the Supreme Court to give ruling on your favor? Now, if the Supreme Court give ruling on your favor, would you expect to obey the ruling of Supreme Court? When you have not obeyed the reason of a people, do you see how foolish you are? Do you see how idiotic any Nigerian is? So you expect us to obey the ruling of Supreme. When you never obeyed the ruling of Omar have verdict, you are owing us one billion. You are owing us apology. The court is under Nigeria federal government. Apology you publish. You are owing us, these are things the judge said. You are owing us another. You said the judge said that Namdi Khan did not jump bail, that he escaped military assassination attempt. Quick 28 died in his compound. Judge was saying, based on evidences on, him, on the court, which your prosecutor could not be able to defend. Now, Malami, if you cannot obey Omar's verdict, why were you sending 
prosecutors to defend you. Malami, I'm asking, federal government, did you not send federal government prosecutors to Omaha here? Was the case right there between Nandikan and Abia State? No. It was between Nandikan and Nandikan IPOB and the federal government. And the federal government sent their prosecutors to represent them in Omaha. When you were sending your prosecutor to Omaha to represent you, were you expecting us to lose to you? Now, if you if what you were expecting is when we lose to you, the ruling will be obey. But when you lose the case to us, then the ruling will not be obey. Now we went to appeal over the what Binta is doing because Binta court is not a court. How? If she can she insists that she will try the case of her leader. Why not her insist that DSS should obey her own ruling in the court over the violation of the fundamental human rights of Nandikan? She never enforced any. She still had the ground to say I'm trying the case. Is Binta not foolish? She is foolish. When she will give order, DSS will not obey and she will pick a date. Are you picking date to do what? To give ruling against Nandikan? That their friends will agree. All of you are foolish. Let me tell you, I want to ask Malami, the Supreme Court you are going, are you telling us that there is something you have said the Supreme Court to say, and their people or IPOB will accept it, then you are insane. You need to be reminded in asylum cell, in the prison custody. Asylum. Because you have mental problem. Malami, you have brain problem. Serious brain problem. You and your cabinet, all the Nigerian security chiefs, they have brain problem. You don't obey the court order on our favor, then you want us, you want a ruling to be given so that we will obey. When you have not obeyed, then you are an idiot. You are an idiot, a typical idiot. No sense in the useless set of people. So, appeal court rulings, you don't obey. Then when you say set it aside, means that you automatically say there will be no longer, there is no longer be, there will no longer be an appeal court in Nigeria. Is that not what you mean? How can you set aside the ruling of your court? Then you don't want appeal to exist again because what you want appeal to be doing is to be ruling on your favor. Anybody that goes to court and set ruling Either lose or you win. Now, how can you win? You say, I don't agree. That is the attitude of children. Only children does that. I don't agree, I don't agree. What is the meaning of I don't agree? Will you say you don't like the court? Have you ever applied that you don't accept that very proceedings in appeal? Did you not send your representative prosecutor? So you were sending, you sent your prosecutor so that an American will be found guilty and um, that will lose the case in appeal. Now that you have lost the case to us in appeal, why can't you obey? So, Malami, I tag in this program to ask you are you expecting us to obey any ruling from appeal apart and from Supreme Court without you? Obeying the Supreme Court and the appeal court ruling. Take a look at what I'm going to do here, Dan. I'm going to prepare those your terrorists, Malami. I'm going to do that, Kazu. No, but those your terrorists, prepare them. We know they are here already. Mad people. We have dealt with you. What we want to do? How? The same international that British double cross Sujuku with the allegations. That is the international that IPOB has taken over. You are now in Nigeria running around. Where are you going? Do you have any other court after Supreme? Nonsense. You are gone. You have disappointed your people. Manami, your disappointment to Fulani upon the assurances, upon the promise of governor, the, what you are dragging now is your governor. They told you you will not be a governor. Until you join Namdekan. And then Namdekan have defeated you. You are trying to be a governor. 
That's why you are not even doing campaign. Your campaign is to tell them that they can. Is that not what you are, is that not what your agreement? The agreement between you and your fellow Fulani idiots and those, that, those are, that appointed you. So you want to use the can and get governed. Is it Namdekan a child? Is IPOB a political party that you can defeat? Can you count IPOB family members? Do you know how many we are? Nobody can count us. That's why we don't have form. It was asking that the, the, the ruling should be set aside. Automatically, Malami is asking that there will be no longer be a supreme a appeal court in Nigeria. No long, no more appeal court. Immediately he nullifies appeal court ruling. He nullifies every appeal court that will be sitting of any kind in any area, area in any state in Nigeria. No, there will be no appeal court that there is no appeal court that's supposed to be sitting. All the appeal court judges should go home. The ruling in appeal court cannot be accepted. Are you not listening? Take your property and go home. You have nothing to, to do in appeal. Our people are free to call you. Know, when you have something to say, Malami is in the Supreme Court. <laughs> Do you see why we say we are IPOB? If we push you, we tell you where to fall. Have we not told, push them and tell them where to fall? Imagine defeating them from state to federal appeal. We defeat them there. They said they are going to Supreme. After Supreme, do you have any other court? Will you take us to Senate? Malami, after Supreme now, will you take us to Senate or National Assembly? Ah, uh, shut up. Because we don't cross you in the international UN. We cover them now. That's where you used to defeat Tojuku. Not fiscal power here. Today we face so far the cross there. And we are still protesting. We don't cross you everywhere international. Go to West, go to Europe, everywhere. Now you are doing things here in your own court. And we are still defeating you in your court. Where do you think you can... Do you see, eh? do you see why you, you... The reason why, if you see anybody say, that say I'm a Nigerian, you spit on the face of that test. They will leave their problem. They will be looking at for IPOB to blame. Now, I ask them, those that are hoping on voting, how can you see this kind of attitude from Attorney General disobeying court orders? And you have you cannot stand up and say no, it is evil. You are still campaigning for election as if the constitution. Guiding the election is different from the constitution that is that um, legalized appeal court. So is appeal court illegal? Is it not the same constitution that guides or that um, election is written in? Is it not where they write everything about appeal court? So how do you think that this constitution will be disobeyed and the other constitution will be obeyed? The other section of the constitution will be obeyed and this section will be disobeyed. And you think you are a human being. If you cannot stand up now and fight against disobedience to court order by the same, the main, the main attorney general, not a, a department in the government of Nigeria. Attorney general disobey court orders only to be a governor in his state in the north, Malami. That's all. That is discussion from with the northerners. Just to be a governor. Only. You kidnap an American to kill him. Only to be a governor. Today you still insist you'll be a governor. You will jail an American. Are you so foolish? Oh, no, you are foolish. Have your foolishness increased? I know Malami is foolish. How can you, somebody ask me, Malami, are you foolish? Malami is foolish and stupid. Just ask him, when did his foolishness increase to that level? <laughs> Malami, I'm not in Norway or Portugal. I'm here. Do you want to arrest me? 
Tinha que fazer uma coisa. Aí ela com a Marley. So how many will you arrest? We have destroyed our case in the Tajakos court. He is now trying a Tajakos. <laughs> and all that. The Tajakos continue. A Tajakos. That's the person you are trying. Thank you. I met him there. I got British Prime Minister resign. I go. Ah, Lakwa Marini. The number to call is plus one six four six nine four five nine six nine four. Is a WhatsApp number in case you want to contribute. I will repeat it. We move plus one six four. Six nine four five nine six nine four. So, what is Malami going to appeal court to do? I am um, to Supreme Court to do to set aside a judgment that they didn't reject when the the hearing was going. The prosecutor accepted the court. The prosecutor believed in the court, federal counsel. They believed in anything that will happen. They came for the ruling. After the ruling, you say you don't agree. But the Tandekano is illegally detained. It's still illegal, in illegal detention. Since 13th, this is seven days. Today is 20th. Seven days illegal detention. You must obey. And that radio, Biasa, you said he committed offense against you on. You will look for where the radio is. The radio is in London. You will now write to the UK Secretary of State. You will complain whatever you think I am the kind of committed on the radio against you. The judge said that you don't need to try him because him being in Nigeria is illegal. The way you brought him here is not normal. So you don't need to try him. I discharge him from any charges you give to him. I discharge him. Let him be free. Then I condemn the way he came into here. But Malami is only holding on the ruling on extraordinary rendition. That uh, the judge said that uh, he did not like the way Namdekano was brought in. Then automatically it stops him from being undergoing tire. Because the crime is you committed is the higher. So you don't have the ground to try somebody you committed terrorism against. Malami committed terrorism. Go, go and ask our lawyers. Malami committed terrorism against Namdekano. Not Namdekano committed terrorism against Nigeria. Nigerian government committed terrorism against Namdekano. Then what ground do they have to try him? The judge said the appeal court. Um, panel said, you don't have the right to try him anymore. I discharge him from the charges, the remaining charges that he's still facing. Then I condemn your attitude the way you brought him in. Then I hereby discharge him and acquitted him. That is, after telling you that you are not supposed to try him again, then I condemn the way you brought him in. Then in total, I hereby discharge and acquit him. He should go. He committed nothing. Now, if you know that he committed something, you should follow the right channel by writing to the UK Secretary of State. Malami, I stopped in primary four, first thing. You know, I'm supposed to be a senator in the north. <laughs> I have I'm grow, I've had grow above senator in the north now. Those northerners in the Senate are developed, apart from a few of them, like a Hussani and few. those ones you need you, you used to hear their English in the house of rep and Senate. Are they not foolish to me? I am above Senate in the north. I'm even more than Malami anyway. <laughs> Can I commit a law offense against my own constitution? Then Malami is an idiot to me. I cannot do so. Bin Tanyako is not qualified to be a counsel in any part of Biafra land. She's now a judge. The, he gave them the kind of bear. The case file is there. The bear bond is there. 
and the house was attacked. He escaped military assassination attempt, and many people died in his compound. And after all, seven graveyards was discovered in the bushes in Biafra Dam, where Nigerian army in the name of Python dance killed us and threw us in and poured us acid. But Bin Banyako was busy demanding that um, Abaribe should bring in Namdekan to court. Do you see how wicked she is? Do you see that she not qualified to be a judge? Now, presently, the man that was missing due to the attack of the army was brought to you in your own court again. And they brought new charges. We have a caller. And I am there with the caller. The caller on the floor, on the line. Can you hear me? Ndewo, Maze. Thank you. Your name and where you are calling us from? This is Mr. Carlo. I'm calling from all the way from Dutchland. Thank you. You are welcome. Um. Thank you. I I thank God for life and uh, I thank God for the help. Thank you. I thank you so much for your good work. You are uh, relentless. All the media warriors. And also I thank the leadership, the people led and lead by our great Onyendu Maze Nandi Israel Okano. What you are saying is nothing but the truth. The court has made the final ruling and our leader Maze Nandi Kano won the case. Simple. Malami should do the needful. He has to obey the court order. Simple. They have been flowing. They have been flowing the court order given by uh, Nyanko. They have been doing that right from right from 2015 to this very minute. And uh, we want to tell them that the uh, IPOB family worldwide. And uh, the international community knew that they are holding our leader illegally. Illegally. Seven days now. And, uh, we, and we have been counting days for them. And uh, what they should do is to set them themselves. Our, our legal team and uh, 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 leader or uh, uh, the leader of the legal team by Stephen and uh, Michael Zakome. They have told the Malani, Abubakar Malani, that what he has to do is to release the person he is holding. He is innocent. He commits no crime. Rather, they are the people that committed crime globally because they have failed to do what the law said. UN Human Rights Organization have reminded them that they have made a strong, a deadly, a dangerous mistake. If nothing somebody is a serious case, so you can't try him right there because you committed offense. Simple. By now, what you have been talking about is how Malani should, should also receive document from, from court so that he will go and answer questions because he needs to be jailed. He committed offense. He needs to be jailed. And he is he's number one number one attorney in that in that contraction. So he's supposed to know everything about law, but he knows he knows nothing. And then uh, uh, said that if they still have a little a little a little respect, let himself be soon. That little with that little respect, let himself be soon. If they have, oh, if they have, and we don't have any other option than that, it doesn't make a difference because they are more than foolish. These are people that are supposed to be taking care of cows, not human beings. 
Simple. That's good to take care of cows, animals, cattle, not human beings. They are not, they are not well educated enough to, to take care of human beings. They are not well educated enough just to, to, to be ruling a, 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 a state. So I thank you so much. What they have to do is to do the needful. They should leave our leader, and he is ill. Say. He's seriously ill. He need, need to go and have his medical treatment. Malami will not expect the IPOB movement or the, 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 the family who even do Malami and the Kami is leading to fail because we have never failed. Because we are doing it right. We don't because fail. We stand on honesty. We stand with truth. Only you defeated them with the truth. Only you is not a lying person. He's a, a very, very honest person. Even though when he's wrong, he admitted that he's wrong. But this time, Manami has no option. Um, who, 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 what is his name? Um, Karabashiu and the Pandami, all of them, they have no other option. Let them release our leader because the impostor they are controlling, the impostor has no mouth. He has nothing to say because it's only a, 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 a it's only a ghost. It's not representing. The people that are representing that, that, that as well is Malami and the Gal Bashir, and they need all of them, those terrorist supporters, those terrorist sponsors. So what they have to do is to release our leader and let nothing happen to him. Same thing. Let nothing happen to him. Because we, we, we are watching the ball. We put our eyes on the ball. We are not going to be distracted with all the bullshit they are saying right there. So I thank you so much and I thank the, all the media warriors. People that stand working endlessly to make sure that the restoration of Biafra is something that nobody will stop. I believe that uh, Chuko Kikadem, the only Elohim, he who made it possible. Because yes, sir. it's only our generation that will restore Biafra. Simple. And that number so can and that be our generation. We, our children cannot do it. Mm. Because these people, their plan is too many. If not the coming of our leader, we could have been we could have been run over by now by Fulani. You know? I thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, my brother. Thank you. Or Colin, we move the number is still plus four six. Sorry, plus one six four six nine four five nine six nine four. We move so Malami immediately you say you don't believe in the appeal court ruling, and immediately you write this very your junk, you say it is a stay off execution right you have to write again and say that the sap court will no longer exist there will be no longer be an appeal court sitting in nigeria and the same way by disobeying court order you have also nullified the constitution of nigeria in total and therefore you are also setting barrier against any enforcement of law in nigeria because when police or army arrest somebody, thank you, the caller. Very nice caller. Thank you. Immediately you arrest somebody in Nigeria, you are, you are weak. That is, there is no law. There is no constitution. You are doing it out of law. That very out law they used to call IPOB. We is now out law. Nigerian Minister of Justice is now the out law, not IPOB. But when they used to call IPOB outlaw, we told them that this is their name. When they called them the Kami terrorists, we have proved to the world that Nigeria is a terrorist state. Now, have they not committed terrorism against the Nambi Kano? The constitution said the state, when they commit this kind of thing, the state is now the people that committed terrorism against the individual. That is to say, Nigeria is now committed terrorism. Malami want to cover their crime. With the Do you think we have political parties? 
that can decamp to the other party. We are IPOB. We don't move an inch. We remain there. You can decamp. We don't decamp. We will deal with you in truth and in honesty. Amalami, I tag you. I tag you. I'm not afraid. Afraid of who? I have written to DSS. Go ask, them. Go ask DSS. Go to their Twitter handle. I wrote to them before they, they allow the release, Madam Mama Biafra. I wrote to them on the July 4th that they should release Mama Biafra. She's old, she's too old to be there. I want to replace her. Free her, and I'll submit myself to the barrister of they'll bring me to me to you. It's very simple. You think I'm afraid of your rubbish uh, 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 kidnap or arrest? Who will which God will even permit you to kidnap me? Which God? Come on, Susu Sheba. Mad people. My God, don't even care about that your arrest or your kidnap. They will not even permit you. <laughs> what can you do? I will say the truth. Thank you. We move. I met and here. So what are those people con um, fighting for election now? What are they fighting for? You don't have constitution. And any case in a P court now is null and void. Malani said, set a P court ruling aside. That is to say, both a P court, both the judges, both the cases in a P court have his appealing that all of them will be set aside. So automatically, Malani is writing to the Supreme Court that he no longer want to see a, a, a P court sitting in Nigeria. And that Every appeal court cases in appeal court have been nullified, and all the appeal court judges are now not, they are no longer is they are not legal. It is unconstitutional, unconstitutional. Because you cannot write, you cannot appeal to set a, a supreme an appeal court judgment aside, right? And you will expect the appeal court to still remain legal. Now, if the appeal court remains legal, what will it be ruling on? When the attorney general that appointed the judges cannot obey the court orders. Now, I ask Malami, now you are going to Supreme Court. What do you want the Supreme Court to rule? You want the Supreme Court to rule on your favor? Then you expect ITB to obey or be friends to obey. You are an idiot. I have told you before, you need to be reminded in asylum cell. Malami, I'm from Ondeabo and in local government, Biafra land. I am here in Biafra land. You can not do do get a game, man. Mad people. <laughs> I deal with you. Tell your police to stop arrest. You don't have constitution to arrest anybody. You don't obey constitution. So no longer enforcing I am law enforcement agent. Come on, you are you enforce your mother or your father. Go and enforce Malami. You are enforcing law. Court said the way you brought in Mandicano first is illegal. Number one, it is against our own constitution, which I am highly here in this court. It is also against international constitution. Thereby, you should not talk about trying him. This is what the judge was saying. This man you are looking at here now, the way he came here, he's not supposed to be here. I will call you later. I will call you later. Oh. Did you understand? The court is now. Let me explain simply. They said acquitted, uh, condemned the uh, sonar revision. In a simple word, the appeal court judge said, "The way this man I am looking at, this man, the, the his name, his case is here. This man here, I am trying his, uh, looking into his case." We are not supposed to talk about him. He is not supposed to be in Nigeria for the first time. That's what the appeal court is saying. Then, for him not supposed to be here, he is illegal here. Then, do not further any trial. Therefore, I decide him from any allegation you are giving him. Now, based on this offense you committed by bringing him here, Erotago. We move. He now said that 
the appeal court, um, the appeal court now say that based on this, you should allow this man to go. He should not face trial. He should not remain here. That is what they said in a simple word. Now, what is he now signaling Malami? If you still want to tell him, if he insists that he has case, then follow the right channel because for him to be here without allowing him to follow to return back, he is still illegal. So there is no longer be, there will be no longer be a proceedings to try him. There is no longer there will not be apart from the step unless you leave him from this one. Then you can follow the due proceedings. You can lie to the UK Secretary of State because that is the offenses you say you committed on radio. He did not commit anything here, just only on radio. Then lie to the UK that licensed him on the radio behalf. Then he is not supposed to be here, but Malami went to Supreme. Are you telling me that you want to be governor because of Fernand Khan? So you want to jail him and be governor? Then if your Supreme Court now set aside the judgment, then you want the other people to agree. When you, I think after counting why you can't too, you did not obey my verdict. You never responded to. You did not obey Supreme Court verdict. You did not obey Bintanyako's order on the violation of fundamental human rights of Mazen and the Kano. We are not talking about 2015 and 2016. Uncle of Mazen and the Kano by Justice Ademola and Justice Johnson in 2016. Ademola was in 2015, December. John Soho was in 2016. Not that one. We are talking about currently. You didn't obey. Malami, you are still needing a favorable ruling on your favor. So who will now obey a ruling on your favor? Who will not now obey? Do you, our people, can you understand why IPOB Do you understand now? Mbarunu needs symbol that now. And when I document sign that I have. Because Nigeria has crude oil, they hope on lobbying with oil. But we believe in lobbying with truth and the fact, with evidences, truth and life evidences. Now, we are always patient because the key of our victory is always perseverance. Because Nigeria is a country, they don't persevere. They cannot never endure. Britain will not allow them to endure because they don't have control of them over themselves. So they cannot endure. That's the key. Today, now, do you see that it was violence that they planned as their weapon? How was it their weapon? And IPOB clicked to those who shouted, fight them, did them. They are starting rising again. Today, now, hey, we need to take the horn by his bull. I don't know if I want to take the horn. The man I want to file, and then we cross, cross of appeal. The man I want to file. So direct to the government, you need to na na radio biafra. He chose him with the violence. Why can't you make full time negotiate argument? It is a time of argument. He gave no one to the case finish argument. He need to violence. He will moral carry on. Why do you do? You make carry on. I don't know why. I don't know. Nigeria is everywhere. Why not in the media? No argument can be here. If you're a Nigerian, if you don't like what I'm saying, you call in. If you don't like what an American is doing, call in. If you want an American to be jailed, call in. If you like what he's doing, call in. If you like whatever you like, call in. If you're against the leadership or anybody or lawyer, call in. Eba amnubu. Oh, bu 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 now. We tell that your complaint. Now, can I treat you bu now? He drank again. How we weapon? They wanted to make a case for our leader that they had a jurisdiction to try him. They have no jurisdiction to try him the Khan for the first place. Even if they follow the right channel to bring him in. They have no jurisdiction because all the allegations, they said it happened in, on Radio Biafra in London. No jurisdiction. Unless, had we click onto autopilot and infiltrators and emotional and some idiots who don't know what, Nigeria will have a, a jurisdiction to try and the can because he's the leader of IPOB. He never changed. So whatever you commit in the name of IPOB, they will bring it, target on him. Do you see why we are defending him? 
and they told you, hey, they are to why are they, why are they fighting? If they leave, so some Monday sit at home, leave it in and we are the one obeying it. Do you obey it? We obey it, and in their land, who is obeying? We voluntarily sit at home. But we enforce, and when we enforce it, you don't say I did it. When the newspaper say it's IPOB. You would have said I did it, not IPOB. That's what that was our anger. Nigeria Army will say it was done by IPOB. You that did it, and that who know that what you did was good to burn down somebody's cake, put it fire, put motorcycle fire, push down some woman's rice is she's cooking to sell. Mama put rice, you push it down. You see boss, you push it down. You see somebody you kill, you shoot. You say it's one man to be free. Why is it that if the army say it's IPOB and IPOB will come and say we did not do? Why is it that you never come and say you debunk the news? You say we are the people that did it. You don't do it. You cannot do it because you are a thief. So you want us to take the glory. Do you see what the enemy wanted us to do? To create, to bring a charges that Nigeria will have jurisdiction to try and numb the camp. Today, they have no jurisdiction to try and numb the camp. Maramina Abaland. Do you see why Ejimako went to Omaha? Our leader sent them to Omaha to depress them on jumping of bell. We depress that one. Do you see why we are in UN? We depress them. Did you understand? So that I did I not tell you. No, come there again, Metropol. They are now in the middle, Nigeria. They don't know the You don't cross them. Weak point to Jukunine, international. International. And the saboteurs at home. Okay, now the saboteurs. I actually remember one leg, Metron and the Kano, Mekos, Okazuba Hagi, Mayama Nepo, or Yama Trojo, Yetoria. We fight them. Ojuku Hagana, Ndi Madagan, Ndiane Biafra, Gana, stay in one year. One year, Sabo. Oh, how to governor today. Martin Lelechi, how can you, how can you be idiot? Not to act the man, how happy a man that will govern my boy states. Martin, so many of them. This time around, we will not allow you. Ega amuche ka power. These are the places so you could lose. Since I na fight in Diro, no with the negative words. Is it I na allow the such thing that I na can't control the power? These are the weak points of you. International home. Spain idiots. It's not one leg. In a stay here. I got my pain and I did your affair. Somebody that terrorized the community, not with his name, with the, my name. The name, my name, not his name. The name of IPOB and ESL. The same way they use the name of our Juku army, they raped our people. They killed our people in their home. And those people turned against Oju. Those people started pointing. If they see our army, they will go and point at where the Ojuku army was, the Afro army was hiding, was, was camping. Because some criminals use the men and the uniform of the Afro army to rape our women. To take the only food that a house, you see women and children, the only food they have. They come in the name of the Afro army, they take their food. And those people have no option when they say army, our say army, to go and point at where the army is. Because that is what we are fighting. And that's what they want to use the man code to do. To start killing our people, to turn our people against us in the name of ESN, so that community will start taking army to ESN camps. They, they want community to be frustrated. They want community to start protesting against ESN. And immediately they start protesting, have we allowed it? And the community start protesting against ESN, that they don't need it. You will now see BBC Ibo. You will see BBC Pigeon. You will now see, they will invite VOA. You will now Ijran again that you are a fool. You lose everything in total. <laughs> but we said no. It's like one nigga, he's calling his name on radio. You are a fool. Ojuku army spared them. We cannot spare them. I will call you tomorrow. Lawan, I will call you tomorrow. I will call you tomorrow. Thank you. We move. My state, where I'm serving it is not people of Biafra. My state coordinator has all of me. It's how I go by. Very, 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 
Oh, God, I'm going to fly. I'm going to shop me. I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I got to go to the headset. I'm going to go to the headset. I'm going to go to the flag. I'm going to go to the flag. I'm going to go to the flag. Other Babo, we have a call on the phone. I don't know. I will tell him that. Um, Mazi, please, please. I, I am online now. I am online, please. I am live, please. Later. Uh, I've been busy now. I'm live. Because one night. I will write to you. Thank you. Let us continue. Let me write to you. This is somebody, one of us. A media personnel, I have an appointment with him. Let me tell him, please. Let me show him, let me inform him, please. I'm broadcasting. I'm broadcasting, please. Our people should allow me. Uh, I have an appointment with this, our brother. Oh, I don't know what I am writing, please. Okay. We move. Can you understand? So, let us continue. What do Malami have? Can you go to our home channel? Now, our home channel, Gan Ganebe office, we got them. Our name, our name, we be a give we get there because no broadcast because. Thank you. Then, do you know that as I was saying, I have finished this one flag issue. Do you know that Malami have no right to go to appeal to Supreme Court without freeing a Namdekan? He must obey the previous court order. Appeal court order. He must obey. If you don't obey, he has no right. To go and say he's doing anything or expecting anything supreme. Because if the supreme rule on your favor, we also will not obey. Then Nigeria will scatter. Then Kuna will scatter Nigeria. That's why we told our people, if you are going to, you cannot start shooting here at home. When you have battles at front. Our leader said, when we reach at the point to strike, we will strike. We will know that we have no other option than to strike. But now there are still options. Then why did you want to, to strike in the name of our people, our IPOB on Namdekan? When he or IPOB leadership did not instruct you. In the Federal High Court and every court where we appear, they call it IPOB in Namdekano versus Federal Government. And then Namdekano, before they call his name, they will say leader of IPOB. That is to say IPOB is in detention. And the name IPOB must be preserved. Because somebody is answering the case for IPOB. If you rubbish the name of IPOB, it will reflect in court. And the man that is bearing our pen will face the trial. Do you see why we told you to wait? They will be confused.
Thank you. Did you understand? Another bank. Let me remove the mic. The mic is low battery. I don't know, it didn't charge. We move. So when we ask you to wait, you wait. When we ask you to move, you move. That is the zombie ship. Today, where are we channeling to? That Nigerian government must obey their own court rulings. How do they obey it? The court, the appeal court, as I have mentioned multiply, and I will still mention, in their judgment, means that Malami have been, Nigerian government have been convicted. How? He condemned their attitude of bringing in Amdekano here. And he said that they violated their own law. Which, which law? The constitution which the judge was using to try Namdika, to hear the appeal of IPOB. And the same constitution that Binta is using. And the same constitution that the Attorney General is using to prosecute Namdika. The panel, the panel judge said, you have violated it. Not only that, the international laws that you are signatory to that prohibits this kind of action which you took upon this very man. You have also violated it. Thereby, this man should not be in Nigeria for the first place. Now, there should also not be charges against him. He should not face trials. Now, I hereby discharge and acquit him. <laughs> Do you see how the judge separated it? He might have come court for four years, and I try more. Then I'm not coming here. I'm not here. I'm not going to the court. I'm not going here. I'm not going to wait and try four years. They discharge that man that waited. I'm not going to DPP. Now wait and try. DPP chairman. I'm not going to DPP boss. I'm not going to human rights. Did you understand? If you want to detention, you can see the Gagwam case. I don't charge any regret. I only hear metal. Charge any regret. I'm going to go to the chase. But I saw people are going to fall. I don't know. I don't know how they separated it. The judge, I'm my hero. Don't touch me. First of all, I'm not aware that I'm not condemned to go to Nam Dekano no go there. He's being here is condemned. It's already illegal. Every people can't tell me. Don't allow here to hear it that he's here. So don't go further in his trial. I am still using other words. So don't go further in his trial in trying him. Now. I am using the power of the court under this constitution, which you, Malami, gave to us as the Attorney General, which you appointed me to be a judge, to appointed us to be judge, judges. We stand on this. We say, we discharge this man and acquit him. What was the judges trying to do? To cover the shame of the son, to cover the shame that Kehun Nabi tried this program. The judge was trying to clean Nigeria away from the shame that they put themselves by kidnapping our leader. He now decided our leader so that the case will end. Even when you have a man saying, no, no, no. And you know, Jamie Clannon is not rich or only a chile. I have chosen you. You know, you are the child, 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 you are the child. Any way guy go go with the change, go where the line change. Oh, you enjoy him, man. Man, I'm here to come back. You are still owing him judgments. Omo have verdict. You are still owing him judgments. Man, um, fundamental human rights violation by DSS and you, Malami, by Ben Tanyaku rulings. You you are still owing us. You are owing us UN ruling, Malami. Everything happened this year. 
You are still owing us a big court ruling. What are you looking for, Supreme? Go and obey the others. The line to call, the number to call is plus one six four six nine four five nine six nine four. What's up? We move. So we will not spare them. Keep hunting them with the truth. I'm gonna help you big man. Just me we go there analyze cause think here. Okay, what? Me we analyze. Don't don't. I want I want to change your bula. I want you a job. I want you a bit job. Continue to analyze the stupidity of Nigeria. No more buy gas strike. Analyze that stupidity. Oh my, you get me many and nobody can win us. Nobody can win us. We are POB. We are not political party. We don't change the party. We don't the camp. We don't good. We are not on tenor. We are not two years. We are one, not one year. We are not four years. We don't have tenor. Our tenor is when Biafra come. That is our tenor. Our tenor will finish. <laughs> not years of tenor. Do you understand? Do you see why we cannot be defeated? Thank you. <laughs> Can any Nigerian court jail IP with family member? Their size, man. Can you jail in them? Their size, man. So, tell me a trial you can sit against them without obeying a appeal court ruling. You know, those people, I don't know why people are so evil that they will see problem coming. And on Sunday now, okay, last Sunday, today is how many days? Okay, it happened on Monday. This Sunday now, you will see them they will be praying against evil. They will pray against devil. And you ask them, where is the devil? He said, devil was cast down from heaven. And you go and ask the idiot, what is Malami? Who is Malami now? Now, instead of you to pray against Malami, evil, so that you will leave the evil, you are praying against devil. That is how they deceive our people. They take your mind away from the man that is fighting you. You'll be thinking about devil or Lucifer, you don't know his address. The priest on one Sunday now, they'll forget the governors. They'll forget the senators. They'll forget the ministers. Who took their money? Who said they will construct road they did not construct? The minister, the pastor, the priest, the fathers, they'll forget them on Sunday. Do you know the people they'll remember as the enemy? Devil. Now, who now disobey court order? Is it devil? So, you will now leave the Malami, you will be campaigning against. And you will be praying against devil you don't know. Do you see why I say, I cannot, I cannot do this thing with these people. How can you be fighting for devil, against devil for how many years? A thousand, thousand of years. Devil doesn't die. Every day he will die. But you see the people that are committing that crime. You know them. You know their address. You know their names. You will welcome them and give them honor in the church. Rather, you will call those criminals to join you to pray against the devil. In the presence of a governor in your church, you will be praying against the devil. And the governor will put them out, praying against the devil. So, is the devil different from the governor in that church? That governor that came to your church. He now put them out to pray against the devil. Devil praying against them. Okay? Our problem is going now. Have you not seen the problem? Malami is trying to bring. It is a good thing. Okay, you are going to go here. Half of people are praying against them. You are going to go to Malami. You are going to go to Okay, you are going to go All of you, both governors, it will be settled in court. I told him, he is going to court. I pray God will give him, leave him. 
that all of you that say, hey, in the kind of case, all of you, you will like, uh, like he, will be, he, will, he is going to court, will be watching. The courts have been given rulings. Tomorrow now you call IPOB. Tomorrow. You know, we do, that's why earlier people say, go after this police. I said, no, I got you fair. And now bank of money. No one buy the run a struggle. A manandiro. A manandi is in a mandiro now. The men in Diro will hide. They will hide among us. And they will be treating us from the back. Allow them. Uba was in no detention. How you feel no They will all come to strike. He did to her. Aka Bakala. Abakala and Aka Bakala. They did to her. From the southeast politician, you bendiro. Those that we are telling you, stop sit at home, stop Monday sit at home. Hey, we should allow our land to be moving freely. Are they not the people that are supposed to be in position to take it as their work every day? Every day, each person, two press the list, three press the list, if they need peace. Now the peace have come. For them to say, I have a grant now to speak. The court have given order. Miami obey court order. Not to obey IPOB order. Not to obey Namdekan order. You cannot say it. But you have the address of IPOB through your, your fake media. But you cannot talk to Malami. Do you see why you will leave your home and run? You and your children. Who supports you? Or less those that don't support you. Do you see that you don't have a home? It will light. Thank you. Thank you. So we move. Facebook was censoring the program. We are back. You know, that's what they do to my program. They will pin it, they will censor it because they have complained to them. They will report me, my program. Uh -huh. So maybe after this program, now if I want to go live, they will say, no, you cannot go live. Do you see how they censor them? But our people are coming back. They will censor the program watch it, then they'll move. They remove people. Oh. <laughs> okay, well, I'm going to have a meeting Okay, well, I'm going to have a meeting there, man. But if you see something, hey, what you're saying, they're not hearing. Take action. Do you see where they want to divert your mind now? Now, these people, we cannot get justice. We told you we cannot get justice. Do you see people who cannot differentiate justice and disobedience to court order? Hey, let us do court in Cho, Ayaba, Cho, Cho Ayaba said, you cannot get justice from the hand of your enemy, but IPOB is getting justice. Or that differentiate disobedience to court order and justice. We got justice no more, I have addict. The disobey order is not that we don't get, you cannot get justice, but IPOB will get justice. We are different from you. We are, we secure, even in Bitaraku, we secure justice there for election of, of fundamental human rights of Fernando Gano, allow him to change clothes, allow him to Jewish um, materials. Nigeria disobey. That does not make you to say we do not secure justice. But the justices we are securing is putting Nigeria in problem. Because it will force them to disobey court orders. Now, we have secured justice again in a big court. And somebody who told me they went to school and the eye that is stopping primary four. You will now tell me that, you remind me that they chose Ayaba. Told you not get justice. Who told you we got justice? This one is justice. We said obey the justice. The ruling is different from disobedience. We are not talking about disobedience, not the ruling. The ruling has been given. It is there. We have the documents. We have published it. That is what is called judgment, a justice. You, we, we have secured justice. So anybody trying to raise dust, trying to ginger you to have alternative thought, tell that person that we have secured justice. But you see your duty to enforce them to obey. How? By alerting those that, that matters.
Why you do things that you are supposed to do? There are things you are doing. He said, "Now again with the justice. Can he not drag now? Can he not know that day? Why did you celebrate it? Justice." They said no. Did the judge say I don't I did I have cancelled my judgment? No. Then why do you say we don't get justice? You know, I said I take the horn by the bull. I take the Amazonia have been shooting for years. They are, they protested with us in U, UN embassy. What do they want? Middle man. Middle man is um political solution. Hamebony Shano. I got one has sell on a wood. Hamag. But I may bony shine. Because I achieve. But on my hand, I may not coin you. Ham, I got a corner less than on you. She never on your hand. So, so, child, you became a bomb. I got a way on your hand on anger. But how do you got why? Government in Kaburunga, now have one under a bear back a ban. Oh, one night you go able to have a sign on me. I get dislocate our leader. Tiny boss, that way, I'm a barrack. We don't say punch in our BBC. Next, she goes ahead and let up. But we maintained. So we did not do anything and we secured this victory. Again, with the justice. We have secured justice. The only thing you are saying is they don't obey God. We will enforce them, they will obey. We must force them. And I think you are again with the justice. In a way, you In a moment, I pray to open the opening in our work. Get justice. IPOB is different. We get justice. In Nigerian courts. In our enemies' court, we get it. We will enforce, we will do because we follow the right proceedings. I had a cross or give me any option to surrender than to surrender. It's an iron I don't hear these years. It's an iron politics. In a sad to ask, Mawaka or two. But I get you now, I got to get to you, run at the point of a mad lady again. Bang a get here, I say, I am it. But I can answer so you'll be kidnapping us, killing us, abducting us, a bochy and yon. Until we be shouting until we come in open. Today we are in the court in the open. The judge look at it. He said, "No, you don't supposed to do it." He can we without obeying this one? You are a fool. I have. Let me repeat it again. Malami should have been in asylum cell in detention. Asylum where they keep mentally derailed. It, that people that have brain problem. If you are in detention, you have brain problem. They will put you in asylum. Not a uh, not a. Um, not a psychia, asylum cell. There are people in detention that have brain problems, they will be there. There are people that even their brain is okay. But because of what they committed, they use matches to cut somebody's head or do something. Their barrister may plan and bring psychiatrist um, documents and file it in court with application and demand and be requesting that the man is a madman. They will tell you that the accused is a madman. Now that they are appealing to the court to remind him in asylum cell so that he will not kill other people in the cell. What are they doing? They try to secure him to know that, to tell the court that what he committed, he did not do it with his clear eyes, that he is a madman. Do you know some people thought that madmen are not in detention? So you took much head, you did not go to a tree, you did not go to a house. He did not go to anything. And he went to somebody to cut his head. And they said, they were madman. Hey, he's a madman. Nobody will cry him. If you kill somebody now, you're not, he's a liar. Or that age, they, 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 the madman will go to court. There is a medicine. Cuts, they will just bring, cut it small. They will give to the madman. He will go to court. His brain will be low. Lawyer. He will go to court and ask that question. I've been in detention. There is a drug they will give to the madman. He will go to court and return. <laughs> Asylum cell. That's where Malam is supposed to be. Asylum. You have no brain. So you have disappointed your Fulani upon all the boasts, the money they gave you. And the governor they promise you. You have failed them because you don't know law. In a You see, they have they have threatened Malami, you will not be that governor. You have disappointed us. And Malami said, I don't agree. I don't agree. I must be governor. I am going to Supreme Court. After Supreme Court, do you have any other court? In a court also. 
That one will now go to heaven, the mad people. And that is where I'll be bringing the program to an end. I think we have gotten like two hours. That is where I'll be bringing the program to an end at this very point in time. Thank you for watching. Thank you for viewing. Thank you for sharing. Thank you. Facebook, we own another program, but I am only. I'm not going to need you. Thank you. Oh, one hour. One hour. One hour. Almost two hours now. I'm for him out to Facebook. I forgot to tell you one minute. Call complete. I can end for one hour. Thank you. Oh, my children. <laughs> Thank you. Your duty is to share if you come across this very program. May Tukabiyama bless you or guide you, protect of all of you, provide for you, favor you all, and continue to disgrace our enemies. I cont we continue to pray that he will harden the heart of fear so that it will lead to their total destruction while he keep preserving the life of Onam the Khan and keep energizing him and let his favor always be with him as usual and let him guide Onam the Khan to protect him and let the weapons of the enemy against Onam the Khan always turn against the enemy and let them always be in regret and let them always cry while our, our, it is our right to rejoice they will never triumph over us. IPOB is undefeatable, not by our strength, by, by you, but by you, by your strength, Chukwabiam. And that is what we are praying. You free Namdi Khan and disgrace the enemy by destroying Nigeria and free every ethnic nationalities found themselves in Nigeria. Thank you, Chukwabiam, because you never change. Your name, Chi Uku Okike, Abia Amana. We have prayed. He said, He said, He said, Thank you. Thank you, Mutinek. From here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. From me, the fellow psychology evangelist, Mazi of Chimachuku. And from here, our homeland, Radio Biafra. It is good evening. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for joining us this very moment. Right here from our homeland, Radio Biafra. I don't know why it is. Okay. Okay, should I go with this? Thank you for joining us. We move. Good evening, good night, good morning, good afternoon to some of you according to your location on the face of this planet Earth. 
you are highly welcome to our today's broadcast right here at this very moment from our homeland radio Biafra here in Biafra land where I am broadcasting from. I remain the fearless IPB evangelist, Mazi Marabuchi Mwachuku. I am from Ndiabo. Ndiabo is in Anenri. Anenri is a local government in Ojiriva province, Biafra land. We move. There is no middle line, and there will never be a middle line. It's either you are in, <coughs> excuse me, it's either you are in this very battle or you are out. As simple as that. God has given us a savior of our own time. Different generations have come and gone. They saw their own savior. God will always give every generation a helper. But thanks be to him that in our own time, what he gave to us is a savior. Namdekan. We thank you, Kiki. And let me pray. Let us pray from there. We thank you, Zudo, for giving us Namdekan. We thank you, Chuko Kabiama, for giving us IPOB. We thank you, Ezama, for protecting Biafra land with ESN. We thank you, Chuko Kabiama for IPOB structure. We thank you, Ezama, for the life of Biafrans in Biafra land. Despite the killings of our people from daily, every day, for how many years now, by this very government, still, when the day breaks, if you come in the land of Biafra, we will see human beings. That is to say, your love upon us cannot be compared with any other thing. We thank you, our creator. We thank you. Despite the military hardware, the military personnel deployed inside in, in our land, though they are killing us, massacring us, invading communities at will, but you still preserve us. That's why the conspiracy and the compromise, the compromise of the politicians from our side and the Nigeria entirely against us as a people. Still, you still preserve us. We thank you, Jesus. We honor you. We thank you for using the judges you used in a peer court to destroy them. We have another court coming up. December extraordinary rendition. I know why. 27th of this very month, we know that you also, Chukwu Abiyama, will preside over that very case, as you presided over the appeal court, court case, 13th of October. Thank you, Chukwu Abiyama. Thank you, Ezudo, because in the end, you alone be glorified. In your name, Chi Uku Okike. Abia, Amara, Poro, Ime, Ihenile, we have prayed. Ise, 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 thank you. Omochineke, we move. I met Andia here, then they will know. Share it very, very wide. Share it very, very wide. Namdekanu is a punishment to Nigeria. A punishment, serious punishment. Did you understand? IPOB is a, is a serious punishment also to Nigeria and the, not you, not Nigerians. No. We are talking about Nigeria. Nigerians are different from Nigeria. If there is no Nigeria, there will be no Nigerians. Did you understand? So, Nandekanu and IPOB are punishments to Nigeria. 
that claims to be a country, not the Nigerians, those that claim to be people from that very country. Did you understand? We don't punish them, rather we come to save them. But to that very name, that very country called Nigeria, we are a punishment to that very name. We are punishment to the very politicians from that very place. Yes, thank you, my sister. Thank you. Watch it again. Thank you. We are Namde Kano and IPOB. We are punished. You know, if you want to cause somebody, if you want to say, I curse you, you don't need to say, I curse you. Well, just tell the person that may God punish you with IPOB. <laughs> the person is gone. <laughs> if God punish you with IPOB, Eh? God punish you with IPOB, you are gone. Go and check Nigeria. That God will punish with IPOB. So we are divine gift from God to humanity. But Nigeria is a wickedness to humanity. Therefore, because IPOB is a divine gift to humanity from God, then we are a punishment to evil. Let me interpret to you. We are punishment to evil. And Nigeria is evil. Can you understand now? Thank you. I <laughs> Then they will know. And you know that our sister that was abducted by the Nigerian DSS. Who knows what they have done to her, but we are happy we are seeing her today. That is how IPOB fight. We fight to, until we see the end. We don't stop. Do you see the difference from emotional freedom fighters, the difference between IPOB and them. They deceived people into detention because they have no place to gather. They are autopilot. They only gather on Facebook viewers or YouTube viewers, people viewing your broadcast. That is where they gather. They don't know that IPOB come to brokers to take information. That is not where we gather. We gather in our family meetings. Where we listen together. Not on social media where you can come up and write what you like. We don't treat IPOB matters on social media. That is why I told Canon, when you bring the matter of IPOB on your wall, IPOB will come on you because that's what you needed. Do not expect anybody to be smiling. Because it is highly prohibited in IPOB. If you complain to them it didn't work, you wait for an end. Unless you have concluded that our leader will die in detention. Then you can come and publish. That is how I take all of them. Anybody that attacks the leadership of IPOB or anybody that disagrees with other, I have seen you that you are worse than the enemy. How? You have concluded that our leader will not be out. Because if you know you will, not, you will be out, then you would have filed these things and kept keep it for me, for him. That is how a wise child does when the father is not around. <coughs> you will record all those things that the elderly ones have been doing. If the father returns, you will go to him. Even those that visited the father in the hospital or where he was and reported to you what the father said. Maybe you don't like it. When the father returns, you ask him, Daddy, are you the one that told a maker or in the if I this thing he told us then? That is how to know. But for you to conclude and start fighting, fighting the leadership, telling me you want to free Namdekan from which channel? Which channel? In freedom fighting, does who, uh, um, any government or any international body or any organization deal with individual? They don't deal with individual and freedom fighting. They deal with the majority. That is what they will know. They don't deal with the What are they doing with individual? Can you understand? 
I met and then they will know. How come you know that Anam the will be out? You come to your Facebook wall, you come to your Twitter wall. You start doing what is highly prohibited in IPUP. But when people get information, they don't publish it. They send it to the leadership. When people get complaints and reports, they don't publish it. They send it to the leadership through the right channel. Now, when the leadership will look into it, they will now return. And from one pe from only one channel that they got information, they will use it to settle matters in different places. One simple broadcast, they will settle matters. But this is the information that came from people. Had it been that those people publish it, which one will the leadership make use of? Now, all these things you are hearing them using, people brings them from ground to here. Had we been publishing it, how do you have leadership? Those information that our leader use, uses, had those that bring it to him, that brought it to him, had they published it, how will he be proud to be using it? I'm asking you. Voice note, posting IPOB, posting what is happening in IPOB or anything, or anything that happened is highly prohibited. Ask him, can the director of the Because I don't know how to direct on a phone. Yeah, why I say it? Go to your coordinator. Go to the right channel. Don't bring IPOB issues on air. Uba kono does retreat ya eh. Ono nande infiltrate. I met you only. Director put on the record here. I'm new. Oh, from IPOB. Mejia mambani ju ya him na game na zone. I him na me na market. I him na me na everywhere. This is my work. Then there are other works. So we are IPOB. We plan this very well. Mado Chore Bugonu Choka Nikeo at least Kamato no way. He will just say, May God punish you with Nam de Kan. <laughs> oh my God, punish you with IPOB. You are gone. Look at Nigeria that God punish you with IPOB. <laughs> God use IPOB and then I'm the kind of punish Nigeria. We are divine gift to humanity. A good thing from God. And our enemy is evil. And Nigeria is evil. Then they punish our enemy. Immediately as soon as you are evil, you are enemy of IPOB. Our duty is to free all um, victims of Nigeria and destroy Nigeria. Nigeria cannot be there and you free the victims. All the ethnic nationalities, no. They must be freed. Therefore, Nigeria must be destroyed. That is why when some people tell you, hey, Peter, you will, will, you will support Biafra, I say you are a fool. When you talk about Biafra, don't, don't bring Nigeria anything that will make Nigeria good. When you talk about Namdekano, do not bring issue that you say that you that uh, will bring Nigeria closer to it. Because Namdekano said, if I see anybody saying he's a Nigerian, if you see how I uh, will look like, I'll be looking at that person. And he said, if you say you're a Nigerian, you are a monkey or a baboon. You must choose one. Now, how come you tell me that I should support it's something that you say that you have new Nigeria. That is to say I'm a fool. Because my duty is to destroy Nigeria. That's why we came. Not the Nigerians. I have explained before. Nigerians are different from Nigeria. When you destroy Nigeria, there will be no Nigerians because Ariwa will go. Oduduwa will go. Biafra will go. Nobody will claim Nigerians. So we don't destroy Nigerians. We destroy Nigeria. The British Zoo, not the people, the animals in need. We don't have any case with the Nigerians. That's why when they envy us, when they are angry, 
when they are fighting IPOB, when they are um, hating in Ambekan, we'll be laughing at them. We have no issue with the Nigerians, but we have case with Nigeria. That very rubbish that Britain named, we must destroy it. It doesn't matter how you try to pretend. Imagine people looking at me, countering my agenda, telling me that somebody has come to arrange Nigeria, that you support him. Are you a fool? It is against my the, the, the divine agenda of God. In my life, I am among those that will destroy Nigeria. So, when you come to preach to me how Nigeria will be good, you are my direct enemy. Because our duty here as IPOB is to destroy Nigeria. That's why Nigeria is killing us. They know why we came. It is to destroy Nigeria. If we are here to make Nigeria better, why are they killing us? So they are killing us because we want to destroy Nigeria. And the free ethnic nationalities, all of them in Nigeria, not only Biafra, we come to destroy it and free every other people. Let us see who answer the Nigeria again. If the British will come and live here and answer Nigeria, let us see. You let them come. Then you are praying that God will help you. As a Nigerian, which other prayer do you want God to answer you? Now you come back. People have been suffering for years. You need help. You didn't see help. You have been praying. Priests have been praying. But they tell you they are prophets. They tell you they see. They tell you they serve God. They tell you they met with God yesterday. yesterday. They met Jesus this morning. But God answered their prayer, gave them Namdekan, gave them IPOB. They are still praying. What did they do? They turned against Namdekan, they turned against IPOB. The very answer to their prayers, these are the most foolish people I have ever seen on earth. And the religious leaders, not their good ones, so there are good ones who understood. But because the British have caged them, but they are not good ones in because of threats. Right? Those that are keeping quiet, they have no right to read Isaiah in the Bible. Any priest, any pastor, any bishop, any of them that say he is using Bible to do anything. As far as you have never challenged Fulani or condemned the killings of Fulani, our people by Fulani or condemned the killings of IPOB that asked for referendum, you say you don't want problem in your church. But you told us that God owns the church. Now, are you now fighting for God? Do you see you have no right to read Isaiah? Are you aware you have no right to read Genesis? And you don't have right to talk about how Israel was freed. Because you are a thief. Is, is that you are going to read? How is it different from what IPOB is doing? Then why do you abandon us? Abandon our uh, efforts? You now channel us, try to channel us to be this. You see you are wicked. I ask you, does Isaiah pamper the government? Do Elijah dine with the government of them? Does Jesus sleep with the government? Does Amos marry the world's children of the government, the daughters of the, gov the government officials? What did they do? They challenged the evil of, ev evils of the government against people, the children of God. And you have the right to read their, their book for me. You read it to me. When you are in Nigeria, you don't condemn him. You don't have right to read any place in that very place. Where you'll be reading is Revelation. Go and read Revelation. Where John the Beloved was uh, dreaming. Is that not dream? Is that not dream? Charlie, 
when you cannot condemn cruel and killings, go and sit down. Don't, read, don't open any book of the prophets. Never you open it. Never. You are a thief. Are you now fighting for God? When we talk, you say church is God. God but when we say, say the truth and leave the church, let us see if God will not defend his church. You say, no, you don't want trouble. Are you down the owner of the church? Are you the owner? If you want to take the money that come in the church, you, it is God. You use the name of God to collect the money. After collecting the money, you will now abandon the people that gave you the money and full and you will kill them. And next Sunday, you come and pray. Or you will give some many silence on behalf of those that full and killed. Instead of you to condemn it, you lock your members inside the church to pray you. Because you are a thief. You want to collect more money. You told me you don't want problem. Okay? I be a name, you ignored us. In no Katagami, if you don't have PVC, you don't come to my church. You ignore us. PVC is for voting. And the referendum must be conducted. It will be under voting also. Then, why do you ignore the same first voting that should have taken place to see if we are qualified or to be a Nigerian, to be Nigerians, to see if we are qualified to vote? If we fail, we will turn out to your election. But you told me that you are doctor, um, barrister, um, prophet. Oh, no, I wasn't a barrister, prophet. What is a doctor, um, reverend, reverend doctor, reverend barrister? Are you telling me upon your barrister and your reverend, you cannot condemn evil? You cannot condemn evil. Disobedient to cut out by Malami, you cannot condemn evil. That is why God look at all of you. He gave IPOB and then Namdekano against as a punishment to you, all of you. Anye gaba hu nanti. Anye gaba hu nanti. Anye bido kola mu. Oko na bachala mu. Oko na bachago pata nuni. Mecha changes. Ten minutes, he mechala changes. Aba be de bola aba. Oko na adila tayat. <laughs> Thank you. I am good. madam, mom. Simon, those you deceived with Monday sit at home. Send lawyer to them. You have been raising funds, Simon. You will never go free. I am in Biafra land. Do you see those our people? Their their children are crying. Their mother, their wives are crying. Crying coming to us. I got a Coca Cola. I got a Nam Elehana. I got a Nam Brewlis. Gaga will take a Coca Cola. It's a lie. Somebody commanded you to go and enforce it at home that had been suspended by Nam Dekano himself. And the police caught you. You now told your wife that you are a member of IPOB. Tell your wife you are a member of autopilot. Tell your wife to call Simon Emma. We have been fighting for every one of us that is under IPOB and you have case. That is why you see me. You see me in Biafra land. Do you think I'm a man? But if I know if you kill me, I can't do for nothing. If you arrest me, IPOB will not leave you. Because I have followed to fight for people who they kidnap. I know how we fight. So why am I why should I be afraid? That a DSS will catch me and do this. I will be diligent, careful, right? Because I have duties in my hand. But if they, they say they will, they will get me, if my name is among those that will be gotten in the list of God, because the list of God, there are those that will go to detention. Some there are those that went to head bridge. That they are duty. Did you understand? Those that will die, they, they will die. Your people must fall victim. Now you tell me to be afraid. Only oh, yes, IPOB. Imagine why IPOB. That's why I was calling you. To, I am around there allow can have the same They don't have where they meet. Oh, you don't tell your coordinator. The wife of that person that those people in detention. Under by Simon Eva. It's a legal lawyer free. You deceive them, no lawyer. You raise funds for one year. No lawyer to these people you deceive. They are still in detention. 
in the name of some forces is at home. They want IPOB to come out, but you tell people not to give IPOB money. That they are using it, they are sharing it, they are taking it for salary. You that secure the money. You celebrate, you say, hey, they are no longer living, giving the money, but we still maintain our lawyers. Why I'm, I'm asking you, you that maintain the money and use the money that you took, like Mohammed tell you to destroy IPOB finance. That's the highest problem of Lai Mohammed, that our people contribute. That is, he is the one personally that brought that agenda, which was added to Simon Eber in his actions. Destroy IPOB finance. And he wanted to criminalize it. I ask you, why are you abandoning them in detention? Are you not leader of autopilot? Where do you gather? You don't gather. Where can the wife of these people go and meet you, your people? No way. But they know the address of IPOB. They meet us. Ask yourself, how do they locate us? They cannot locate the autopilot. Because there is no place you gather. All of you are only gathering in vegan program. So if you want to go and meet the UN, you will be showing UN. You will screenshot people that are viewing program. You go and show UN. You cannot show UN where you gather. You will show them how many people that are viewing Simon have a program. Because you are, you are a, fool, a foolish idiot. A mad idiot. You don't gather, you don't sit there. Nothing. And I tell that they go. If you give me money to join you, will you give me money next month? If you give me money to die, join you. Will you give me next month? Because you're a fool. Now the country does not pay us. How can money work? Where is Nelly? Where is Insima? Where is all of you? Go and build those people you put in detention. Simon Eber. Simon Eber. The killer of our people. Go and build them. IPOB have brought a drago to court. So are all of them. That is why you can see me parade in Biafra land. If they catch me, no problem. I feel you free me. If you kill me, no problem. I have a daughter and a son. After all, my, late, my wife is late. I would have gone and hold my children. I would say, I don't want them to, hey, if, if I die now, my children will have no, that they will, nothing, I don't have any. My wife died since 2009. My son was a month. My wife died. Don't say I'm good. I'm, I was born 98 something. Adam Abama. Ah, lawyer, no, you know me. Then, my daughter was two years and five months. But now she's 15 years plus. My son is 13 years plus. Don't you know I'm supposed to go, go and uh, I will be carrying them on my body? Am I supposed to be in agitation at the forefront? In Biafra land, showcasing my face. Gingering our people to make sure that their morale is not down. I risk my life. I present myself to ginger them. After my preach, if you try, if you are a policeman, anywhere I gather people and preach, if you are a policeman, go there to pick somebody. After I have left there, go there. If you see their morale, if you, talk, if you ever go to wherever I finish my preaching of Biafra, I live there, you go there to arrest, they, they will deal with you. Because I will ginger them. Did you understand? I got a hammer put to a hammer to the hammer. I got a hammer out. Now that I have to get you out. Do you see why we fight? Do you see why they announce our names when they appoint us on Radio Biafra? Do you see because we are not terrorists? Do you know that they are not? Hey, now why is Japan Hannah Biafra like our God? We are not terrorists. It is where we hit Nigeria down. We call the names of those we are points, whether in Biafra land, they are renamed. That indicates that we are not terrorists. We call them because if police arrest them, we'll go for them. We'll go after, we'll go for their release. That is why you can see me. I can never, I can never show my face, risk my life and the future of my children by following idiots. I told you I am not a fool. I was I I am blessed by God. I stopped in primary four. 
I have blessings. May I know Ozo Church? May Ozo Agaba? By now, I got him. Even I don't believe you plan to learn our role. Guess him up with the him better. This is my own him better. Here come there. Then there's a mess of idiot, a jidem malani. Mad people. So, so pitch again a video guy POB get circulate. The big man now I want to wait a little late before they can. On your man behind one. Ndi ano chandi ani na na kuba cha changwa ya. Ndi me bad day. Ole mbay mahang mbay me bad day. But a bad day mo bacha. Just na isle. Just na for a day. Tawo ba no we ba no less celebrate na wake. Pitch on na video muga all over the world. Final log with Ali Hatron over in a car bush. Ige bule ebu a mwa wana bag. Are you mad? In our rule, and one day, so Sunday line again. I hear a man and one. One I was on my deal like a man. Very fine. I'm okay. Therefore, I am one guy in our government. Top like one on Paha do one year do to a one year do to a neighbor. I'm with Biafra. Fine. Come as then again. Simple. Direct us on my hills to glory and honor. Black people are my, you know, my own evil mule, ule rubbish in our coin. You know, the nature and the nature, the church, she won't want in. You know, I'm not there, you know, I'm not there, I'm not there, I'm not there. I'm not there, 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 and those who shout and jump in, I call all of you moderates. I told you for supporting violence in our land, for supporting a suspended sit at home violence, not those that voluntarily sit at home, supporting enforcement of what you call civil disobedience. How can civility be enforced? How? How can civility be enforced? When you enforce it, is this still civil? No, it is no longer civil. It is uncivil. Thereby you are committing crime against humanity. We said stop, you said no. You started giving money with the devil who are mine. Therefore, money will be donating fund. You claim to be a biafra. I will give it. But those that arrange for it are agents of politicians and abroad. Politicians gave them money and they will arrange for fundraising so that they will channel you into it. Because the, those agents of Fusa, they, they donate in the summer and about fundraising. They gave them money. They are in abroad. Those that used to invite them. They gave them money. They are now freedom fighter. They will call you, hey, someone, I'm giving two, two dollars. I am giving two hundred dollars. I am giving two hundred. Ego go, Fusa, the man, they go to, they go to the man. They go to the man. And then your fundraising to attack IPOB, you know, you say that it's my money. Go and free those you deceived. They are in detention. In their enforcement. They are in detention. Have you not seen it that I go? Did we rest? Have we not been posting her pictures? Have you ever posted the pictures of your those that was caught during enforcing sit at home? Someone there, an autopilot. You always campaign against criminals. When we mention their name on radio Biafra, criminals that communities are looking for a way to deal with them. Criminals that communities are crying over their crime. Criminals that people have even left communities because of them. When they are being caught or their name are being mentioned in public, you'll be fighting the leadership. Why are their name being called? Now we ask you, you'll be publishing them, broadcasting them. I ask you, those people that you deceived to fall victim in Monday, I'm in that land, I have the right to say it because I know they are in detentions. They bring complaints to us. So, Imaria, I will tell you, if you have a problem with one, you're full. If you have a problem with one, you're full. We cannot listen to you. You're a fool. We suspend them when they sit at home. A gas in the main force. Gaku Simon, we are asking you, Simon and all of you that gave money. 
you are all murderers. Anybody that donated the fundraiser, I did this is not the first time I said it. You are a murderer. You are until you confess that you gave money to kill our people. It wasn't the money to save our land, the money to kill our people. Those people in detention deceived by you. Hey, we will enforce it. Have you not seen IPOB? Brought a dollar gold to court. Then where are those people you deceived? Have you ever published their picture? You only publish the you only defend criminals when they are being called on radio Biafra, autopilot and someone else. But those you deceive to be in detention for how many months now? For enforcing it at home, you don't publish that picture. The IPOB publishes the picture of any victim in the hand of the Nigerian security. And we keep going to court, even those that are missing, we keep talking about them. Have you ever seen autopilot publish the picture of those that are in detention because they are deceivers? Their children are crying, their wives are crying, they are suffering. Their mothers are crying, their parents are crying because you deceive them. Send them a lawyer, send them lawyers, send them lawyers. God will deal with all of you that are connected with someone like that. God will deal. People are crying at home. They are, nobody talks about them. Nobody is after them. Someone deceived them to, to detention. To die in detention. Many of them were killed. Many are missing. Hundreds of them for forces it at home that Namdekanu himself was suspended. And he had the right to donate money with Sam, with the devil man. We gave all of them the next money in someone had that program and fundraising. Because they told him we we'll no longer give you money. Start raising funds. That is where we donate. And when they, they print that, they don't care whether you like it or not. They must have campaign for fundraising. Because they don't, they know that whether you give or not, politicians from the East must give. Because the agents of the politicians are in abroad. The politicians will send money to them, they will give it in dollar to you. Because you're a fool. You were deceived into the fund them. And today, people are in detention. Have you not seen that are good? If that are good, I pay you brought her to court. Go and bring your own to court. Even publish their picture first. Let us see their picture. Make them proud. Make, that is, make them proud that they are fighting for Biafra. Show them love. Show their picture. Campaign for their picture. Stop campaigning for baby. A criminal, stop campaigning for double lion. Stop campaigning on behalf of criminals that communities are crying. He comes over skilled. Communities have been in had been mourning about over his death still today. But Double Lion death was celebrated. Baby death was celebrated. How do you defend them? Go and defend those you deceived. Don't defend. Why do you like defending criminal? Hey, they are coming calling the name of our men. Your men are people that our communities are complaining about. Are they your men? People that communities are crying are your men. They are your commanders. But people does not cry because of the council. Have you ever seen people cry for me? Did, have you ever seen people cry because of the council? But people are crying because of the thing you place them. I ask you, publish the pictures of the victims of autopilot enforcement sit at home, useless sit at home, those in detention, that their wives are crying, their children are crying, their parents are crying, no lawyer, no nothing. Nobody goes after it because I probably cannot send lawyer. We are not foolish. You diverted money that should have come to IPA to Umwe Rekanto. Today you are scattered. You sent the Umwe Rekanto. That is where all of you will die. Are you still giving money there? Are you, is it not still the approved account? Are you still giving money there? You have created many websites to raise money. All of you that have deceived our people, all of you will go to hell. Oh, what the hell? Don't you make a hell? Don't need Biafra. We will, that hell that you, you don't see, you never see hell. Biafra will provide the hell. You see, when Biafra come, you, you see that hell. You know, people have been talking about hell, talking about hell. You have never seen hell. There is no hell. We will provide the hell. We will build hell. Well, we are idiots. will be thrown into, you see that hell. You will go to that hell. You see it. We will build it. Not jail. Not prison. Hell. Check a minute, my friend. It's a good in court. Was in court. I am a man in victory everywhere. After him, it's a little brain. Simon, autopilot, criminals, 
murderers, killers, instigators, certain Confucianists, noisemakers, terrorists. You all of you campaign just post picture of one or two people that are in detention because of your modest status. Post campaign challenge government to freedom. If you are not government agent, someone and daughter pilot. Get the pictures and the videos and the pictures of those that you deceived into that is non-existent sit at home. Enforcement. Hundreds of them are in detention in their land. Nobody goes for them. It's not you open on Facebook. Go down, send the lawyer, cage day. Cage day now. Onyara. Imam Baibara here. My name is protest now. Biafra land. I'm all right. I will be fair. We don't protest. Oh, my name is I don't know if you'll be in an emergency. Before I do the order, Biafra is all. Gabriel Joe Commissioner of Police, my army commander, is not here. Now, in the Igiri, they have Gabriel Joe, and God has them. God has them. I'm not going to deal with violence. They are in your mind. It was one again. I got that. I feel like I know who's I know. I know I come there now. I was a coward. People that are waiting is not wasting. The patients to receive information. That's what we believe. That we waited is not that we are wasting time. But we are just being patient to receive information from the right channel. It's I know a coward. I feel be. I'm just pushing a bag of Jiro Kushina Baga would not bad from 10, 10 p.m. I not got the chair for protest of freedom. They can Jiro Kushina Baga. Why I POB all message the within 10 minutes. Honorable, the road that fell and attack our motto. Kevin and I are coward. I POB that slept in head bridge. I POB that was killed in Nazar High School. We went to war the same year. We were killed. See, we had the courage to go to Iguacha. Protest on behalf of Trump. We are killed. We said you call out cowards because we refuse to be foolish to government agents. Those of you that are wise to government agents, Simon Eban call. Tell your wife to call Simon Eban phone. Stop sending your wife to IPOB. We did not send you to enforce it at home. Stop disturbing us. Actually, contact the national coordinator. Actually, contact the yeah. actually. Actually, I contact. We cannot help you. Look for contact of Simon, eh? but look for contact of Nelly of Ebu. She is in charge of she. She is in charge of ESN. Go and meet Nelly. Go and meet Nsema. Nsema is the ESN admin. Go and meet them. Go and meet all of your idiots. Check out who no. Ndoshi. Check out what I Let us go and deal with the Nigerian government. Over that are good. Let us deal with them. Who spares any idiot? Touch me now. My picture will circulate. My, you will see a video you have never seen before. A war. My picture and my video will circulate the whole social media. Touch me. That's what I need. That's the only thing I need. Asengi bomu lelunish. Ona my hand right here. He can reach it to you. Dignity the one. Ogula. Gawden wagi gina akono ba yina agom nje me kwenye gina kwenye. Nonsense. Glory and honor. Oya ide after. After henine. Touch me now. Kijira nya ge. I think you are DSS. I am diligent so. Very very careful. Right? Not that I'm just the way. No now. The rest of success is always under construction. We keep moving. I want to read here. I want to read from here. Let us see what happened. And I must show you that I got it, respective of how it is going to show. It. Let our people just see her. A that I got. Right? A that I got win. Look at her in court. A that I got win. Right? Look at her and our barrister, Nemeka. 
Ejofo, right? Ana wo nere. E da go if we are shouting, stop complaining. Na we need action. Njo one idiot. How many action did Zinam Dikano took that they kidnapped him? Was he not talking? You are a fool. Have you ever been to your church and when your pastor want to preach, you will collect the Bible from him and hold him on the neck and tell him that you need action? Not every time Jesus will come. Jesus will come. Tell the pastor, let us, we need action now. We, not, we need to see Jesus now. Have you ever done it? IPOB Kige one hour, we need action. But they are still deploying army. We never take action. They are deploying army. We never take action. They are kidnapping us. We never take action. They are killing us. We never take action. They are telling newspaper to tag us every criminality. But we never take action. Do you see how your brain is? Get action your pastor and they take him on a church. Does your pastor carry you up and throw you down? Can your pastor get an action on the take again? My father, on the take action. I feel big, I take action. Take it, my father, my father. Idiots. He wrote out to some against the pastor. Take action. Now, where is it? I'm going to go. I'm going to go to the pastor. Come to the Bible study. I'm going to go. Come to Sunday school. I'm going to go. We should take action. I ask you, if you go to church on Sunday, tell your pastor, stop preaching, take action. Let us go to heaven. Take action. We want to see Jesus now. Let us read and deal with the, the useless Malami. Go to your Google. Go to your Google. There are gold. To make a memory. I met somebody. I'm the first IPB evangelist in the Afrilam. Touch me now. Arrest me. Make a video. That's all. And your children will not go free. You, the police are in Nigeria Army. DSS. Army. Touch me now and see if your own children is untouchable. If you like them, keep them, keep them in the moon. We will get them there. Whether I am here or not, we will get them. Touch me now, God, our God. Mad people. Let us read. Federal High Court Abuja had the trial of Miss Godwin Joy Edara today, being the 19th October 2022. The court resumed hearing by 10 a.m. and presiding justice, the, the presiding is Justice Dean Tanyako, Nyako Zokwa, while by on your adjournment, while Barista Nemeka Ejofo is the lawyer representing Edara. Recall that since Godwin Joy Edara was abducted by the Nigerian security operatives in Enugu on, on the 8th November 2021. She was kept incommunicado and no one have ever set eyes on her until today when she was brought to court by DSS for the first time. Did you understand? You need action. Go and beg those people you deceive to be in DSS. Go and beg them. Okay, don't beg them. Go and send lawyer to them. Just send lawyer from the money you raise on your fundraiser. Every day, fundraiser. No single lawyer to those you deceive. But IPOB, you say the leadership, they are sharing the money. But our lawyers are working. Is it not better we share money and the sponsor our lawyers? Why do you deceive our people to be in detention? On Abalaga, Caesar Madna Biafra, 2023. Caesar Ayegi dollar, 10 10 dollar, 10 20 dollar. Uh, 100 people, 100 million dollars. Biafra will now come immediately. First of all, you did not even have 
even conscience, Simon Eber, to even publish the pictures of those victims of enforcing it at home under you. To even ask for at least let lawyer try and, and fail. No compensation, nothing, no show of love, nothing. You abandoned them. The good have come. Do you see how we fight? The same way we discovered our people in different army barracks in the north that we get transferred. Now, if you see these things, tell me the reason why you leave IPOP. Tell me the reason why I cannot go out and tell our people the level IPOP is. If you arrest me, no problem. I want to another again. You go agar me already. In a certain manner, again, can you join me? Join me again. Can you join us? I'm not going to go anywhere. I'm not going to be in a gang. That's the issue. In a new coup. IPOB, yeah, in a make him in a Bible, law, yeah, in a me. Oh, yeah, can you can just also go like you know, young guy, oh, my ass. You will hate yourself, you follow me. Did you understand? If you have a one, have a one, nega, hap on negi, nanagi, nezino lagi, is a room, but to pass a one now, yeah, be a poster. Yana, when you are gone on our now, banner. Also, I get you, Missy. Person and Munia, oh, I was a picture before my hyperp. What is us can it? What was the person and Munia? Let us move. Dear sir, listen, come me, I lay come lahani. Then, 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 lady, let me come. Let me finish, okay? I stop in where she was brought to, okay. After much argument, listen, let us go to the, the main key of the matter, that I go. Do you see how we honor our people's efforts? Autopilot, show us a picture of those hundreds of victims in detention. Picture of one. No picture. But you have the picture of baby Bush. You have the picture, the right to campaign for criminals, double liable. But you cannot campaign for the freedom or send lawyer for those you deceive to go and force it at home. Simon Eba. Simon Eba and Co. Simon Eba. And those who shout at me, hey, bloody lot of You are a mother and the deceiver. Do you see the punishment, the wives and the children and the family, any relative of those people, anything they are passing through now, you must pass through it. As far as you support Simon Eba, as far as you donated money, to fight IPOB, thinking you telling us uh, you, are, you are fighting for Biafra. As far as you do so, this thing that these people, these children, you sub, you you push their father ignorantly to go and enforce, and today they are in detention, and you ignore them. You are now telling them to I am telling you, all of you that shouted to Simon autopilot, you must. Your children must see what they are seeing now until you start campaigning and bring that money you raise, fundraising, send lawyers to them. All of you, your children, you, must, you may be in a better position today. Your children must go through it. What these children are passing through today because of Simon eh, deceiving them and you, the idiots, who told them to guard the force it at home. Well, how can civility be enforced? How can civil disobedience be enforced? When you enforce it, who are you? You are a criminal because civil cannot be enforced. When you enforce it, it is now uncivil. Then you are a criminal and a terrorist against your people. I'm a money. However, okay, after much argument between Barrister Nemeka and DSS lawyer, Barista Nemeka moved for a bail application. And the presiding judge, Bintanyaku, adjoined the case. You know, she's number one in adjournment. Bintanyaku, there is a language she loves to hear. As God pleases. You know, she took herself as the court. Did you understand? So when they say, as God pleases, that is how it pleases court. She will be happy. She wants to hear it. That's why at times she saw it. She doesn't even know when she pick a judgment. Because she delights in that thing. She believes that, uh, hey, I am the court. 
So when they say, as God pleases, he says, yes, as it pleases, as stupid and as foolish and as compromised and as an idiotic as she is. Somebody that abandoned the particular charge or warrant or charges or warrant or whatever the or case file in which he granted an American bail on. She was busy welcoming amendment of charges from amendment, amendment, amendment. How many times a man that you granted bail and his house was attacked and later he was kidnapped and you started accepting and welcoming new amended charges instead of you throwing it away and telling the BSA that this man must finish the case in which he was granted bail on. And you accepted all these things. You would not even say that you have ever opened that very file. No. Because you planned it with them, Bin Tanyaku, to grant the killer or leader. Because that's what you planned. That's why they ask you to grant him bail. They ask you to grant him bail as you were in that meeting so that the army will go and kill him. That they cannot kill him in Abuja. That's what you suggested. That's why you was busy demanding Father Ibe to bring him and the canoe instead of demanding an army. To bring in Namde Kano. Bin Tanyako, I say you are a hater of their friends. And God will punish you and you and your 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 criminality because you are working with Nigeria. What can you do to me? But I will need to go to Bin Tanyako court. I know you are in charge of killing IPOB. Okay. Killing IPOB is because you have never challenged DSS and told them that bringing IPOB to your court is not good. That's why you back them up to go to our places and kill us. Because you have the right and the God to be trying IPOB. Family members that you have tried their leader for years. Today, the God is there, was there. And you have truncated it to your way now. We pick a joint the 22nd of November. The next one now you pick February. Bin Tanyaku, God will punish you and your, your, your generation. You see that your name. That you, anywhere I see that your name, I must cause that your name. I must cause it. You pamper amendment of charges against the law. A very serious, clear, a very clear against the law. Somebody you kidnap, you no longer prepare charges. You started amending charges. Then what actually push you to go and kidnap him in Kenya? If there are not standing, if there is no, there are no standing charges. You kept amending, 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 amending. Then you, you, you was forced. Who were you forced to go and kidnap him? Kameoni. I'm coming. However, the DSS charged her on less than Kaila Hani. Just listen. I stopped in primary four, first term. However, the DSS charged her on a three count charges, which are as follows. Count one, that she was using social media platform to propagate the activities of IPOB. <laughs> Should I read it again? Then I'll direct DSS who they should charge for this. Listen. I got my bahon on it. Hey, no one, all the Kohem Latina Gage in Miragam School. I can mail on the knee. I can mail on the knee. Let us read first. That can't one. <laughs> can't one, Malami, listen. Somebody should tag Malami, please. Tag him, just write um, at, you write Abu Bakal Malami, you sh immediately you write it, you see it, it will have some verified, it will have good, then you bring him. Kamlayani, come to one. That, that she was using social media platform to propagate the activities of IPOB. Now, do they signify the particular social media platform? They say platform, not platforms. There is no S there. 
platform. Did you understand? To propagate the activities of IPOP. Now, if that is on Facebook, if that was on Facebook, I think the the Idara Gold, before she created a Facebook account, she agreed on Facebook terms and condition. I want Malami DSS. Listen, I'm loud me. Now, if Idara Gold is was on Facebook. She was there because she obeyed, she agreed with Facebook terms and the conditions. Now, I will open your eyes what they have committed again. Who should DSS take to court? Is it not dear, uh, Facebook? as they failed to write to the UK Secretary of State, as they also failed to write to Facebook, or you issue arrest warrants. So Facebook, do they not have director here? Now, you left the people that owns the business, whom their customer is obeying their he agreed on their terms and conditions and obeys their rules and regulations in which anyone a dollar gold violates, it is the duty of Facebook to deal with her account accordingly as they deal with our accounts. Now, I ask DSS, should you charge a dollar gold for using a social platform, um, give her a charge for using a social platform media platform to propagate Biafra um, message or you have to take Facebook to court. The same thing you failed to do for the extradition of Unam Dikano, now you landed up in a extraordinary rendition. Did you write to the UK Secretary of State? No. You go after Unam Dikano. Today, did you go to Facebook with that account of a dollar good, then Facebook will go through their terms and conditions and see if a dollar good has gone against their terms and conditions. Even if that happens, it is the duty of Facebook to punish the dollar good, their customer, not the duty of DSS. Did you understand? <laughs> <laughs> this, this is how foolish they are. A honey high name, and there is some Bible, a baby and a junction or a baby and a junction, a mini baby and a junction or a bohil, a baby and a junction on it. Now, 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 it's on the bank, a baby and a ball, that baby and a navy, baby and a salary. I am a man, I did. You're a fool, a stupid idiot. <laughs> I can I can be dog with the negri. Oh, you know, go show the no labo web. Mad people. A criminal, I don't know, they are the In a bank, the boy web. No, you can lose a queer. Oh, my, no, it's an abrena in the flesh. Let me deal with them. Right? Count one, I have finished you. I will see, come there, but let me go to count two. <laughs> Where is it now? Okay, count two. Listen, that she, which is Idara Good, they call her name is Idara Godwin. That she has concealed, listen, another offense of DSS. This is not charge, another offense of DSS listing. Can two, that she has concealed informations 
that will help. Just imagine, you become weak. Immediately you hear help. But they went to training. Did you understand? Listen. That she has concealed information that will help the DSS in at in apprehension of one Mr. Chus Iguat, thereby contrary to section eight one eight paragraph one of the Terrorism Prevention Act. So Terrorism Prevention Act is that you can arrest somebody and keep that person in communicado because he or she have information. Not that you got the information, you are suspecting that the person has information to get somebody you say he's a terrorist or he's um, violating your constitution. Or against your law. How does that how does that sound to your ear? Somebody's child. You are keeping the person in detention. Not a, a sister, a brother to a brother, or choose as you said. A dragon is not an immediate sister. A dragon is an IPOB family member. If the a brother you are calling is an IPOB family member. That is your own business. We are asking you, how can the law say that the person that committed it should be held in your constitution? Accountable. Now, how is it that you are detaining somebody because you think the person has useful information to arrest somebody that you know his or her name? Now, if you can know the name of the person you are looking for, you cannot get the channel to arrest the person. But you went to training. So your training told you that you had the right to be taking somebody to court because the person has information to arrest somebody, to arrest a suspect. How does that sound? How do you see why we tell you that Anybody that tell you about PVC or P2B or election, the person is a thief. How? These are the matters they would have been countering. If you cannot fight this kind of thing, how can you fight election rigging? Because the election will be rigged. Now, it is an opportunity to stand and show them you are a human being. Somebody in detention since November last year, a year now, November 8th. A year. Now, and they are telling you that she used social media platform to propagate their first struggle message. And that she had information to arrest somebody. You already have his name or her name. The person you are calling, you know the person. What I know is that they are good. Right? If you get the person and we confirm the person's IPOB, then we'll campaign for the person. Did you understand? You choose to or you go out to or choose to call. That's your business. But what I know is that she or he, if they choose is a man or a woman, I don't know. If, what I know is that she is not or she or he is not related to that are good. Now, how should she answer the case? Now, why not charge her for the offense that the person you are looking for is committing? If, instead of you keeping her and charging her to court and intending to jail her, because that's your intention, and if you want to jail a guy gold, why you have not arrested the person that you say she has information that will lead you to apprehend the person. Does this make sense? I want to say, I want to move to camp three because of time and environment.
I think you are getting the point. Share the program very wide. Follow this page. That is where I'll be coming live from. Today, my Lord, uh, Chrissy. Thank you, Chrissy. Martinek. Our people are commenting. Facebook don't allow me. Comment, comment. Later, I will see. Our people also see. Let us go to country. <laughs> Dear sister, I, I did not go to, I did not finish primary school though. But I will teach you. Okay, you don't know I'm a DPP. <laughs> DPP chairman. Director for public prosecution. I go and come near my phone. So make up my work. Near my phone, make angry my own. Make my own law. Go to school with him. Can't do that. Gezente, gezente. I own a time of the Ekarigan Agogo. That she, listen, professed. Go to Google and Google professed. Let me go and see. Let me go to Google. Somebody should join me. Go to Google. Professed. P O, let me come. P R O F E double S E D. Right? P R O F E S S E D. Go to Google. Google it now. Let me go there. Google G. Let us go to Google. Google professed. Let us know the meaning of professed. P R O F E double S E D. I know that is, um, in other words, it is claim. Let me go and search. Search. Meaning of profess. What is profess? Okay. What is. Profess. Let me see what I can search. Or the meaning. Search and tell us what you see or saw. Okay. Okay, let me let me read from here. They have shown me. Just let me read search from small of a quality, right? Feelings or belief. That is to say. Let me come and finish. Let me finish. Claimed openly. Another way, in other words, claimed openly, but oftenly falsely. Did you understand? Listen, professed. I <laughs> like one one. They said. Of equality, feeling, or belief, right? That she believe, or that she felt, she feel. Okay, that it that a good belief, or she feel, or or that she she see herself that she quality she have the quality that is she is of the quality. To be IPOB. Listen, let me continue reading. Let me continue reading. For all her professed populism, she was seen as remote from ordinary people. That is to say, they say that all she has been saying are all false. That is Ashe. Now, profess, what we take there to treat the matter is claimed or that she feel. Right? Now, let us go to that thought country. Country. We have gotten the meaning of profess. Now, let us read it now. That she professed, we are now on the country. To be a member <laughs> of 
of IPOB, a proscribed organization, listen to the chat, what they said, thereby, contrary to section 16, paragraph 1 of Terrorism Prevention Act. Everything is terrorism prevention, terrorism prevention. But people have been crying in communities, no terrorism prevention act on Fulani, terrorism prevention. All those people they are catching for supplying bandit mon, um, weapons. No one has been charged for terrorism um, prevention. Now, freedom fighters are now the people you are charging for terrorism prevention. Had it been we committed it, let us see what you said. That a Darago claimed. A Darago does not claim. She is an IPOB family member. She did not feel she is an IPOB family member. And IPOB is not proscribed. If IPOB is proscribed, prove it in your court. We are challenging it in your court. Since 2018, why have you not proved it? Abakiari was the one that signed what you wrote. You wrote. How can an idiot, Abakiari, sign a very rubbish that one Fulani judge read out? I said, you'll be, I said, what is, where is, show us the signature of your president that signed the very thing that your judge wrote, um, read out. And said, you'll be proscribed. Abakiari, the idiot, idiotic full of, uh, chief of staff that died stupidly and foolishly. And his dead body was was um, treated like it was been. Even does it was even better. Thank you. We move. Did you understand? No. So a good. This charge is now against a dollar good. I have this. I have finished it now. <laughs> Cut it out and send it to DSS. Cut it out. Cut it out and send it to them. That is a very nice work. Even I need it safe. Cut it out. The matter has been settled. She never claimed. She's a nice view. Why is you charging her? Is that an offense? Okay, it's now terrorism prevention. <laughs> So, but um, Sheikh Gumi, you did not charge Sheikh Gumi for terrorism prevention, for meeting terrorists. But um, terrorism prevention will start working on a drug good that is not an immediate sister to the said choose. What you are talking, I don't know. But the Sheikh Gumi met with the terrorists severally and still meeting. Now, show us the picture of a Dara Good where them, their family members, which is Eguat, where a Dara Good and Eguat and their brothers and sisters were dining together in their compound. Because we can show you the picture of uh, um, Sheikh Gumi dining together, sharing money, giving money direct to terrorists. So, the Terrorism Act prevention. <laughs> Okay, act of terrorism prevention. It have not. It doesn't work on those that supply ammunition. Even the police. Okay, what about the custom that took rice, food items to terrorists in the bush? No, no terrorism act. No act of terrorism prevention. It doesn't work on them. <laughs> Terrorism Prevention Act. So it doesn't work on B2B that visited the terrorism, um, um, Minister of Terrorism, Sheikh Gumi and all of them. Sheikh Gumi is the Minister of Terrorism. Customs met with the terrorists. Are you not aware? Customs met with terrorists.
give them bags of rice, give them indomie, give them everything they used to cook it, so that they will get strength to come and kill people in communities. Did you understand? Now, we are asking you, so your terrorism act prevention does not work in the north. <laughs> I may tell me a hunter here, DSS director, DSS director. This year, you will hear something. Our people should share this program. You see, this is the good where I treated this matter. I did not study you, study it. It is immediately you read it. When I'm reading it, they'll be telling you what to say. I have not. What I just opened here, I saw a message from one of us from the um, family. Um, Omuchuko writers. This report came from Omuchuko writers. Right? Now, and I have to treat it immediately. So, when you read it, they will tell you what you say. They will tell you, good spirits of Biafra. I think you understand. <laughs> Thank you. So that is what we are saying. We are telling people that Nigeria is not for us. But they keep telling us that, hey, somebody will, Nigeria, you did like this, you did like this, it'll be better. Obey your court order. They are saying, you cannot do it. Leave our people. What did they do? Like? Good. The three count charges against her is nothing. That's why I, tell, I said, these people, each other, home not court, okay? George, the matter The matter has ended. She used social media platform to circulate the propagate the uh, message of IPOB <laughs> that is prescribed. <laughs> but uh, she agreed with the terms and conditions of Facebook. And you are supposed to give issue arrest warrant to the Facebook director on Lagos. Not arresting the user, which maintains the rules or the terms and conditions given to her by the very company. She's just a customer. Why not go after the company? That granted her that very privilege to use. Do you see that Nigeria have no brain? You know the address, but you, because you know IPOB, you are free to kidnap IPOB, charge her for terrorism, terrorism act, terrorism act prevention. But you know address of Facebook. Like Mohammed used to call them. But you cannot go and write them to them and say this very account. Verify if the account is violating your, your terms and conditions. If Idrago did not violate the terms and conditions of Facebook, how come they violate the constitution of Nigeria? Is it not Facebook that's supposed to violate the constitution of Nigeria? Is it the user of Facebook? <laughs> that is Canto kind of one. And that is where I'll be bringing the program to an end. Some people are joining now. You know, because of environment and time, you know when I joined the very program, it will war. But because I got this very message, I decided to preach. I am not a plan, no program. If I say no plan, only I'm not just study. That is why I love our people. Not that Baba Tam na program. Omo ena biya sem na leko ya ega ba leko ona ha demoma ona demoma. I ask the government now to discuss things that matters us. Uh -huh, fine. I just call them. Nah, I get quite a bit. Man, I got. I now come here. We are not meant to test. Test. We are not meant. Oh yeah, we are like. And then I go back to the program. I now go back here. I be. I go back now. I go back to the program. I am like here. Come on, him need to do strong question. Him need to do. On your bullana bobatan, Yachum, a chum flexible one, a chum yena bodani, yen bogo train. Also, when they have a side PUB leadership, I am a mepe secret, the leadership trust, Rani. 
me guide the oku iota i got respond to any question you with the chuba be my one but i need the strong one who will be the only one with the soft questions or they are work in here and they might not do on here need to go to your no side or go to a born and a guy discuss a program how come can say you go to go out and and when i'm out question and i get my law come such a Tongo mo mo to mo anke mi ne se da mbi de se ya mo anwo bro ge ni ha da me pem issue so mo ri ke na agba ya ma ma si kam to to yo to to start the question to tell kam make a channel lawyer step asem no e may brief jiri tu question bia o atere ha fu zie aga adot ya wo re chi kota ndo zo yo do an thank you very very much thank you we are always the victim of Nigeria. Sheikh Gumi, you are free. Go and marry terrorists. After all, you are the minister of terrorists. But uh, if there are good, have information that will lead DSS to arrest Jews. They have the name. They did not arrest him or her. I don't know whether a woman or a man, whether the person is that baby or not. That's their business. If they get the person, will now confirm. But the one in their hand now is the Dagakot and others. We are asking you, how do you detain her for a year? And you are trying her. Terrorism Act Prevention. And you are not charging her for terrorism. I'm asking you, we are asking you now, are you trying her with the charges that you are supposed to be given to choose a guard, which we know that the answer is no. Now, this one you are trying her, is it because that she has information or that she is the one that hide choose a guard or the guard to choose? I don't know. Now, or that you want her to face the case of a guard? That's what we want to do. Now, if not, why are you still keeping her? Do you see how we deal with them? Superior argument. I want to know the matter and how they are never. If for one day I am born, blah 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 blah, autopilot. Matter and route and even get to him one. He got a con. He will matter he got rise. He got a con we. He get he get me we analyze. He matter and carry. He get let be shit on. I have to go to grad school. I have to go to school. He may not course course. I he may not he get. A green a good doctor, go on, go on, and go in. The matter of professor, or one way, how professor there? Hey, I'm a professor, professor in law, or professor and doctor, or professor. Hey, when you're professor there now, or anyway, you're professor now, he's in. I'm a teenager, professor now, he's in. Give me another director, how much I hear, and already, and I see my dear. Na no ma that and ako one. So when he will professor me. Na school egro and we course an abobiafa, egro biafa. You may be afra na school. Thank you. On your blood drug. That you, you don't need much talk. You need action. You see our God church on Sunday. Pastor Abu Tehala Bible get where the weather that you need action. Pastor Abu Tehala na Jesus na bia where ya na oje that you need action. On one one wagi na na geli we we amba you need action. Enugo egade anla ge ego ge ga kuaka ge ti mem lota ekuto kwa ipi bi ga se I need action. In age the kwepa so ge see any the way Bible ah me go action ta in eme kwe. Eh, kuto kubi ya Frank. Na ya Frank kwa na ya kwa. Na na go chagi Jesus. Anhole ya. Ge mwenye na haa kwa dupe ya mwenye hona Jesus. Ina kwenye. Oh, yu na ya Frank. Na ya kolo bish. Aime cha honi hiu na mata. Thank you, Zudo. Thank you, Zemmeri. Thank you, Zemboche. Thank you, Zemmeri. Thank you, Zemmeri. Thank you, Chine Kudo. Na Chine Kwa Bagara. Mwenye kene ine enye. Okune mwunu fula nina hona. 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 Ok
okuwezo ha ai mane na azaze nigeria ebere onyobula aja ha nigeria ebere na egbo obi ekpere izra ha we ipo bi na nnambikani but they ignored it out of hatred today they are still praying we know you cannot answer them they are foolish you gave them free the answer to their prayer nnambikani and ipo they abandoned us they hate us they spit on us they they they, what, they pee on us they do all kind of things on us the same answer to their prayer and they will continue to cry until nigeria will end and we know that you free every victims of nigeria by destroying nigeria through ipod in which you have done that in the end, you alone be glorified because you know, the Kanu must be freed. You have freed him already. Before the date called the 13th of October, on the 10th of October, you showed us that very song that the rainbow will go eat round. I was the one that videoed it. By after 11 a.m. And we were rejoicing. We said that something will happen this October because, and I told, I was commenting on that video, Chukwabiyama, that this is what you used to show us as a sign that you are in covenant with Namdekano and the Biafra. And you later show it because the judgment finished in heaven. You finished the judgment in heaven. And you showed that signal of the sun where the rainbow, rainbow will go eat round and the sun will be at the middle. And today, here we are. The Fulanese are now starting meeting upon meeting upon meeting. These are meetings IPOB have been doing for years. Today it is their turn to do meeting. Chukwabiyama. Continue to torment them, punish them, and give us laugh and smile and joy and celebration because they are killing us because they want to maintain an inspired Nigeria. We pray that Nigeria will be destroyed. Yoruba will be free. Ariwa will be free. Biafra will be freed. Anybody can go and answer Nigeria. But as it stands, we know that you have removed your hand from Nigeria. Because you gave them answer to their prayer. IPOB and then they rejected it. We pray that you allow them to cry the more. And they suffer for hating what you gave to them. Thank you, Zudo. Because we know you will favor their friends all over the world. So that your favor upon them will attack the favor of all mankind. Even the foreigners that hate them. When they see them in the next 30 minutes after this program, they will love them. They will begin to cherish them. They will begin to see your, your goodnesses upon them. They will forget those lies by our enemies against us. Your favor was upon Joseph, and he was different in the house of Potiphar. Your favor was upon Joseph. He was favored in the, in the palace of Pharaoh, kingdom of Pharaoh. That is your favor. We ask you to do it, shower it upon our people all over the world. We have no government apart from IPOB that protects us. That is why we need Biaf. No embassy of Nigeria cares about us. Thereby, they lied against us. And the people where we found ourselves in their country, they start looking at us, hating us. When we work in their country, in their company, if they pay us salary, they'll be watching us and see if we can fail, if we can commit anything for them to arrest us or to jail us or to deport us. Because the enemy have covered your blessing upon our foreheads that the, these people, they continue to see evil on us. That is why we ask for your faith. So that we'll be different from others, even in the strange land. In your name, Chi Uku Okike. Adia, Ama, Pro, Ime, Ihenile. We have prayed. Ise, Ise, Ise. Thank you. Omochunek. Hey, thank you. From me, the fearless IPB evangelist, Mazamad Abdul from here, our homeland radio Biafra. It is good evening. Thank you.